Hello everyone and welcome back to our Better Minecraft world. We have recently made our sugarcane farm and shop and I really love how this turned out, especially the interior. I think it's just the coziest thing that I've ever made. And of course, down our little chute is where we have the, uh, the actual farm, which even though the shop is very cute, the downstairs is, well, not, uh, it's just in a kind of a pit cave thing with, uh, yeah, zombies growling. But, uh, we are not going to deal with a zombies growling today, at least I hope. But we are going on an adventure today, guys. I have decided after our last video that I want to do more exploring. We've been building up our base area a lot and it's looking really beautiful. I'm really happy with what we have so far, but there is something that I think would be a fun adventure to go on together and you'll get to kind of experience the, the Bumble Zone with me for the very first time. So. That is the plan for today's video. We are going to go exploring the Bumble Zone, which if you are unfamiliar, it's basically just an entire dimension, just filled with bees and honey and honey related things. So I think it should be really fun, but I just need to make sure that I, I don't hurt the bees. Otherwise they're gonna sting me and uh, that doesn't sound fun, but we need to collect an ender pearl which I think I have some in our house. So we're going to first start by trying to get an ender pearl and then go collect up some supplies to kind of prep our journey. Here we go. We'll bring three with us. Now I know we can feed the bees and for whatever reason that makes them happy with us. So I kind of think I want to go collect a little bit more honeycomb before we try to go into the bumble zone. And I, I want to enchant for the first time my diamond helmet and my diamond leggings. And well, I'd love a higher protection on my boots than just three. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop by our little zombie XP farm. And we're just going to spend some time getting up some levels to come back and enchant. Now, I know that the, the zombie XP grind isn't exactly the most entertaining. So what I'll probably do is just do all of the or most of the work at our little XP farm off camera so that you don't really get to, you know, see all of that. So we're just going to, you know, spend some time hanging out with a Marsha, our cleric here, who can give us even more ender pearls. So that's great to know. And we're going to hang out with Rosendo as well. And so we're just going to get close, you know, make sure that the, the zombies, you know, the spawners can reach us. And we're going to get some levels from our zombie farm. I feel like maybe we'll get about 40, maybe 45. I, I think that should be enough, but uh, we're just going to wait until some zombies arrive. And we have over 42 levels, so that is definitely enough. I've kind of been using the sticks to keep out all of the zombie flesh and such, but let's make sure we grab all our little experience orbs for some extra experience. Now we're gonna go back home, do some enchanting of our armor, and then we're gonna go to the Bumble Zone, which I have no idea what to expect here. So you are along for a wonderful long play adventure. We are exploring, discovering, and we just get to have an enjoyable time together doing so. But first we need some better armor. So let's get our helmet and our leggings enchanted. We'll also see about getting an ax enchanted while we're at it. I do have some other diamond boots, but let's just see what we can get off of these ones. Now we will first try the pants, blast protection or protection. We've got our helmet, unbreaking three, possible, I like that. We've got unbreaking three on the boots, which is good. And then we've got, let's see, Unbreaking 3 on the axe. Now, I'm curious, I do have Featherfall 4 on the boots, so maybe because I don't want blast protection for the pants, let's try our helmet. We've got Unbreaking. 
fire proc. I, I don't know how many fires we're gonna deal with in um, a bee home biome, but you never know. Let's try the pants again. Wait, am I already? I'm at 38. Oh, I need to add more lapis. I was like, why did it uh, not let me use it? There we go. So unbreaking three on our pants. Let's give it a go. Uh, we, we, we still got blast protection, okay? Uh, I guess that's just what it wants to give us. Protection three, protection two. Let's try the axe. We'll do unbreaking three. J just un unbreaking, okay, okay, it's fine. Unbreaking three, we need some more lapis. Now, I think with these lapis piles, it's just like tiny little pieces of lapis. So we can kind of just make extras. I don't have a lot, but maybe if we have three, there we go. And our boots, blast protection. Okay, it uh, seems like that's really what the game wants to give us. So interesting combinations of things, but it'll work for now. I'll take on breaking on an ax though. That's, that's not too bad, but uh, lapis is something that we'll need to collect more of. Now we have some of these swords as well. So maybe, we combine these swords and use that because right now we have a sweeping edge smite and mending so it's not too bad but i think because i like the feather fall i'm just going to make a new pair of iron boots to get the durability back so i'm, I'm not actually gonna wear these boots i think i'll just stick with having feather fall that that seems to me like a better option uh if you know, that isn't a better option, then that's that's fine. This is what I want to try for. Now, I'm going to bring some bottles in case we find more honey or other things. I'll also bring two golden apples because you never know what we're going to find here. And now it's kind of just prepping. What are the things we think we'll need? I think I've heard in the Bumble Zone dimension we can ride bees. So we're definitely going to bring a saddle just in case. And a lead, we'll bring the bottles. We've got a bunch of other things in here, which is perfect. So I think we should be good. We've even got two saddles, I think. I think we're in a good spot. Now, the last thing I'd say we should have is more food because I, I don't have a lot of food. So maybe we go to sleep because it is officially dark outside, I believe. And then we'll see about collecting up some food just so that we're a little bit more prepared. And it looks like we just missed a thunderstorm. But let's see about some food here. We've got carrots. We've got some wheat. Do I have any other goodies? We could bring some candy canes. Tempting. I think we should get something that's a little healthier. I, I would say. We've got apples that we can have. We've got pumpkins. But I think we're just going to go outside. We need food. And then once we get some good food, I think then it's time to go out and explore this new dimension. I, I do have a waystone. So my intention is to get a waystone. Now, the other thing I thought about doing was we're going to the bumble zone where there's bees everywhere. And in better Minecraft, you can actually have a beekeeper as a villager. So I'm kind of thinking, what if we also quickly stop by our little village and we trap ourselves a villager that can be a beekeeper in the beekeeping biome. I feel like that would be a very good way to use all of our different um, villager trades in the biomes that make the most sense for them. So I think that would be cool. So I'm kind of thinking we try for that once we get a little bit more food over here because I don't want to run out. So we'll go cook up some steaks, which will be great. We also have a little uh, little cardinal friend. This is our new bird pet, a little burby. And I think they need a name. So comment below what we should name our little burb because they're, they're really cute. I think I mentioned previously that we could call them Big Red because I'm Little Red and it'll be kind of funny because they're just tiny, you know? But let me know what we should, uh, what should, what we should name them. I think that would be kind of a fun thing to do. Now, I think other resource-wise, we should probably bring some building blocks. 
because I really don't know what to expect once we go into the Bumble Zone as far as what other things we might uh, need on hand, all of that. So really, we're just kind of preparing as best we're able to to see, you know, what we discover in this new world. So I'm very excited. I'm also a little nervous. I think uh, some regen could be helpful. We've got fire res, we've got poison, we've got some things, you know, that could be helpful. But for sure, bring a crafting table. And I think a spyglass could be kind of fun. We, we do have, well, actually we have this zoom feature and it goes pretty far. So we, I thought, I don't think we'll need that. But let's grab some building blocks. I'm thinking we grab some cobblestone. Because honestly, the, the one thing I have heard in this world is if you need to get out, you can just dig all the way down, which sounds a little scary, but you kind of can just like break out of the bumble zone by simply just digging kind of to like where bedrock is or going to build height. Now, if I go into our quests, we have the bumble zone and the step one is going to be using an ender pearl and then it just tells us how to leave. So then we have some different advancements that we can do. And I don't really know what to expect once we're in there. I know that this little circle of advancements is just the tip of the iceberg. So once we start unlocking these, we will be able to unlock even more. There's like a ton of them, but these are the ones that kind of guide you in the world. And I think once we go in there, We'll be able to tell what is more likely of the things we'll be able to get done and this is definitely just our first adventure so i think we're just going to uh, do step one today of exploring you can feed it items or experience points and it will give you enchanted books interesting upgradable by repairing it in anvil crystal shards we can find the queen bee in the throne room. Honey bottles, spider eyes, stringer dies. Okay, so we can find some things to trade to the queen, which is kind of cool. So we'll bring her some spider eyes and we'll bring her some string. That should be good. It's kind of fun that we have like a whole new use for spider eyes and string. And let's take a look at this again. Look at our quests. Look at the queen bee or dyes and honey bottles. Okay, so that's super interesting. I kind of want to make a honey shield. I feel like that would be really cool. It does say we need an anvil. So I think what we'll do is we'll just bring an anvil with us. That's probably the, the best use. So I say we make a new anvil just because I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be um, bringing our kind of already broken one. So uh, let's just, I, is it like this? Or I think it's like this. Or I'm also incorrect, okay. <laughs> Me just forgetting how to Minecraft. Oh, three on the top, okay. Okay, that, that's fine. Um, that, that works. <laughs> Okay, now we're in the crafting table. So we've got our anvil and then we can put all of our iron blocks back. And there we go. Oh, oops, hang on. We're just putting things in the wrong spots. Now we do have wood, which is important because I need to make sure I have enough wood for things. We've got apples, we've got extra golden carrots. I feel like we're getting a good spot. So let's go find us a little beehive and preferably oh wait we have a beehive over here Ooh, okay we've got beehives by our house and by our crop fields but let's go say hello to our animals before we go into oh this is a this is a bee nest so i don't think this will work wait this is a beehive does that work into a bee nest or a beehive. Okay, so that works. Okay, well guys, I'm we're going on an adventure 
and I hope you won't miss me too much. I will return for you all, okay? So don't you guys worry. I will be back, but for now, we're doing a whole new adventure. Are we ready, guys? Let's, let's ender pearl. I'm kind of nervous. Teleporting into the bumble zone. Okay, oh my gosh, everything's yellow. <gasps> okay. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> oh, I'm like in... Honey, <gasps> look at the pollen. Oh my gosh, I love the particles. I want them at my house. I want this when I walk everywhere. <gasps> Whoa, this is so... Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? <gasps> Ooh, that looks cool. That looks like a structure. Oh my gosh, look at all the bees. Also, I do know that some people in real life have a phobia of the like repetitive patterns, like clusters of like holes and bumps, like a honeycomb pattern would be. So if you have triopphobia or however it's pronounced, uh, this might not be something you would enjoy. Because I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of things with small- Why are you here? Hello? You should not be allowed to be here, excuse me. But I'm just uh, letting you know that that's probably something that I would avoid. If you don't, uh, don't like those things. I wanna go here. But here we are, guys! The Bumble Zone. It feels so quiet and peaceful. Oh wait, there's a little bee. He looks different, though. Oh, look at He's got a little sweater. Oh, my gosh. And look at they're in their little combs. Oh, my gosh. Also, look at the map. Whoa. Sugar water floor. What are, what are those things? Hello? There's a phantom in here? I'm, I'm very surprised by some of these things. Not gonna lie. This looks really cool, though. I don't know what to think about some of these things, but I do want to kind of see what these things are. Those seems, those things seem really cool, but this is a very interesting place. Very, very interesting. There's also like honey slime. That's so interesting. <gasps> but look at it, it's little honey slime. Do we know what happens? Okay, I I love the pollen. I just gotta say it. I can't like you kind of get stuck in it but the particles i just can't get over it um can i scoop the pollen oh my gosh look at them they they also make the pollen move um okay i'm a little nervous to hello so i i am aware that a oh, pollen puff obtain a pollen puff cute Wait, I wonder if I can, like, make this, but I do know that, um, I need to be careful because if I try to take honeycomb or certain blocks from the bees, they- I kind of get this, uh, anger of the hive thing happening to me, and I don't want that, but I think that looks cool. So let's go say hello to that. These are just, like, orange snowballs. Can I throw these? Oh my gosh, I can throw it! That's so cool! And it just, like, poofs. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I can have this in my world. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, noted. There's even more adorable particles. I love it. Now, these porous honeycomb blocks, I'm pretty sure this is what I cannot pick up without the bees getting upset at me. So I need to be very careful. I don't want all the bees coming out of nowhere to attack me. Um, not what I'm looking for, but this is so cool, guys. I'm so excited. Can I make, like, a block? Okay, so let's add in the, the Bumble Zone blocks. So these are all of our block options. Kind of cool. There's a Honey Compass, which it looks like it can find different structures. But I want to see what these are. Like, these just seem like cool little places to explore. But look at this! This is so cool! Oh my goodness! It does make you slower, I will say. Um, I don't like that it makes me slower. But it's just so pretty, like, look at them! They're just kind of dancing in it. Oh, I love this place. It's so cute. It's just so peaceful here. 
Like, that is the thing that... Oh, hello? Um, are they gonna hurt me? <gasps> Wait, they're not gonna hurt me. They just kind of hang out. I'm, like, afraid to hit things. Where did that entrance go? Was it down here? Ooh, it was down here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. I think the honey crystal... Whoa. What is that? I'm pretty sure the honey crystals I also can't pick up without uh, them getting upset at me. So we're going to be very careful as we make our way through here. Now, I did forget the villager, but we can just bring him back because we're going to set up a waystone, so it's it's not going to be a big deal. <gasps> Whoa, but what's back here? A honey web. I hit it. Oh, I don't know about this. Can I have to, do I have to clip this? We're learning, guys. We're learning together. Okay. It just seems... Okay, it seems like we have to try to break through. This block is very hard to break. Do you see in the top left corner, it shows how long it takes to break a block? If I have to do this for all of those blocks, what is this? Glistering honey crystal. Oh, oh, I've got slowness. Is that from the web? Interesting. It's a very sticky place here. So, oh wait, I have slowness no matter what. It's just stuck on 10. Interesting. Oh, this is so pretty though. I have a feeling I'm gonna have the hive be upset at me. Very interesting. Now, let's see. Oh, it went away. Wait, does it do that as I get closer? If I touch this block. No, if I touch Oh, it's the web. So I can... Oh, okay. I can get through the web. It just takes me a lot. Okay, we're learning. Oh, we're learning things. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. So there's honey crystal. Very interesting. If I take silk touch... Okay, let there be light. Oh, it's a light source. Oh my gosh, this is a light source. That's gonna be so pretty in our world. Stop. It's a light? That is the prettiest light I've ever seen. Okay, let's take a look at our quest. All right, so we entered the bumble zone, which means we get the honey compass and we get a music disc. Very fun. Now with the honey compass, we get to right click in the air in the bumble zone to locate a cell maze structure or right click a beehive bee nest to lock the compass to the position. Okay, interesting. Okay, we've got, we've got the honey compass. Now we've obtained a pollen puff, obtained by mining a pile of pollen. Oh, we get honey peanut soup, that's so cute. When thrown at flowers, the flowers will reproduce. When thrown at a block, you create a pile of pollen. It makes pandas sneeze. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, it pollinates unpollinated bees. It spawns mushrooms when thrown at a mushroom. <gasps> Spawn pumpkin stems when thrown at a snow golem. What? These are so cool. Hello. <gasps> That's amazing. Now, finding... The Hanging Garden also sounds very cool, but I think there's honey. So we need honey crystal shards to make a honey shield, but I think we can do that in here. But I think while no bees can see me, I wanna, I wanna mine more of this up. And it's, it sounds exactly like Amethyst and I love it so much. Just that sound is beautiful. I love this sound so much. Wow, oh my gosh. 
Oh, I'm excited to use this. <gasps> These will make such cool little lanterns. And if you look at it, it starts sparkling, guys. At least I think it starts sparkling. Maybe, yeah, it is sparkling. There's like little shiny sparkles on it. Just like for um, my diamond armor that I'm wearing, I'm kind of shiny. So is this, which is so cool. My goodness, this is so cool. Now, I think filled porous. Oh, I'm, I'm stepping out the web stuff. Okay, it's the sticky residue. I wonder if I take my silk touch pickaxe, if I can actually like mine up the sticky honey residue. I'm curious. No, okay. <laughs> so I also want to know. No one's coming for me. Everyone seems fine. No one's like swarming my little little spot here. Okay. A filled forest honeycomb. Now I do want to see what this does. So if we right click in the air in the bumble zone, let's let's try it. So we just right click. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's an advancement called Dora the Explorer. I love that. That's hilarious. Okay. So if we come here, okay, we've got our compass. Now it looks like it's this direction. So if I open this up, I'm trying to see if there's anything further away, but it looks like just this direction in general. So that's good to know, but we'll leave that here for now up there. This filled porous honeycomb block. Um, I think I might collect more while we're here. Just because nothing's like coming after me back here. No bees can like see me. So I feel pretty confident that I can just grab stuff. And honestly, this, this sound, I love it. Okay, I just need to be careful. Oop, I got stuck in the web. And I'm stuck in the web again. Actually, we're just gonna go through it. I think for now, we've got a half a stack. So I'm gonna call that good for our little glistering crystals. And I, we have some of the porous honey block. We've got a bunch of the pollen puffs, which are definitely some of my favorite things. I have a feeling my inventory is gonna get very full because this place is beautiful. Like, look at this. I just can't get over how gorgeous this looks. Like, that is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm such a fan. Okay, now, my next question. It looks like these are the crystals that make up that shield, except I don't want bees to get upset at me. So, I'm trying to just light this up. And then maybe we can, like, close this off. There's Enderman in here. <gasps> Good to know, okay. Now I feel like I could just grab these, but maybe we come down here further. I feel like I will be a little bit safer the further down I am. So then we can take our Silk Touch pickaxe. I don't know how many of these crystals we need. Okay, a beautiful crystal. <gasps> Look at that, we got one. And then to make the shield, we, oh, crystal shards. But these are honey crystals. So I bet we have to break it with other stuff. So let's take a test. Let's, let's put that down and then break it with a different thing. Okay, so we got shards. Now, I know that I have a fortune pick, and it looks like one crystal gave us one shard. So let's try using the fortune and see if we can get more this way. In my head, I feel like it would make sense. So this is fortune. Oh, we got four. Okay, this is, this is working. I hear bees and I'm just like afraid to get attacked by bees. I'm not a fan of attack getting attacked. Okay, I think 10 should be enough. Definitely enough. So let's craft the shield. That's our next advancement. So we're going to make a level one shield. Okay, here we go. Level one. Bam. 
an unbeatable defense. So what does that mean for us? So we have the shield now and we get more shards. So we can repair it in an anvil with crystal shards. It's double the durability of a normal shield. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, well, we're doing pretty good. I think I want to find a crystalline flower. So they're in the bumble zone on glistering honey and amethyst. So I think we've seen some of those, honestly. But let's see how this looks. Ooh, it's cool. Look at our shield. That's so fun. Look at that. It's a little bumble shield. I wish it gave more stats <laughs> other than just saying it's a shield, but you know, I'll I'll be happy with it. That's just fine with me. Like this, well, I guess the, these shields don't even give us stats either, but I guess um, I was hoping that I would get something. Also, we have some, some little soup, honey peanut soup. That's adorable. But I think what we're looking for next is there's those like purpley ones and I feel like that's where we're gonna find a crystalline flower. So we might be pillaring up and looking for one. So that'll be the next part of our little adventure here. And we do have extra sticks to make more torches because what's weird is this place isn't like lit up. It's very, very like just, well, it's very, very dark. But I think it's really cool. But I love these pollen blocks. Like, look at this. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Okay. Now, I'm kind of following where this compass is going as we go around. And it does seem like it points that way. Now, there's more of these crystals. But they don't have the amethyst on top. Which is why it makes me think that it's these guys. So, I think what we'll do is while we're following our compass here, we'll just kind of, uh, we'll just see. I'm also very curious what the slimes drop, but I don't know if they're friends with the bees. Like, they're not even, like, hostile. It's a lot of pollen. So I'm kind of just, like, curious, but I don't want to bother them. Also, what? What are you? You're a blue bee. <laughs> You're cute though. What are you doing? What are you? I'm so excited to like find out what all these bees do. Like, okay, this pollen, I will say, uh, can I have like boots? <laughs> if we look, are there like boots for this stuff? Carpenter bee boots. Nothing adds like a run on the, uh, the surface. So that's not really helpful, but let's just go this way following our compass and lighting, let's light up our way as we go. Ooh, what is this? I wonder if this is that sugar water stuff. Okay, fascinating. Now this brings us to a, uh, a special place, like a maze, a comb maze, which is kind of concerning. Like, I don't exactly know what to do about a maze. I, oh, I really wish there was a faster way to go on pollen. We're just getting stuck in the pollen, but we look cute. We look really cute. I love these particles. I literally am obsessed. Like, this is so pretty, so calming. I didn't know, honestly, what to expect coming in here. Ooh, that seems like something. What is, what is this? This seems interesting. Oh, and there's more of them. But yeah, I didn't know what to expect coming in here, but this is definitely really cool. Sugar water. Can I take sugar water? Will I get in trouble? If I take a bucket of sugar water, or a bottle. You lack, oh no. Okay. Oh no, this is what I was afraid of. Okay, I think this is where we die, guys. I guess we can't take their sugar water. All right. Okay, um, that's great. Love that. Um, 
Okay. Oh no, guys. Okay, do I have my backpack? <gasps> do I have my backpack? Oh, I don't have a backpack. <gasps> oh no, guys. You know what's sad about this? I didn't uh, leave any of my ender pearls out. Okay, well, you know, we can take our old armor. <laughs> uh, you know, good to know they like their sugar water. I'm glad I'm aware of this now. Really, really good to know. Um, I have 30 minutes to get my stuff back. <laughs> so we were, um, yeah. So now we know, guys, if you're going to play in the Bumble Zone, uh, don't scoop their honey water. They are very protective. Okay, um, that, that's a good time. That's super fun. Now, okay, I think what I want to do, so I don't have any levels, which I think is the only way I can actually go because it requires levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly make some wheat in we're going to breed some of the animals and i think that will give us some levels and then we're gonna go trade some sticks so we'll feed them okay we're getting food we've got some wheat so my idea is that we're gonna go and get emeralds and trade with our little cleric guy. I think that's probably gonna be our best bet. So we're grabbing food. Then we're gonna make some iron tools. I really should just have like, I don't know, backups of everything else because I literally lost my stuff. But now I know, you know, I, I had no idea that they would be so protective over sugar water. But I guess it's their stuff, you know? So like, yeah, I, I get it. And we'll stop by the iron farm. Pick up some iron. I'm glad I have this now, you know? This is this is good to have. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I still want to end up adding in some carpet here. But for now, we'll just take this. Now, as far as down here, I think I left... Actually, we can trade with these guys. Hello, my dudes. There we go. And I think if I come underneath here, I can trade with you guys. All right, so we have eight, which is good. Love that for us. Now we have some emeralds, so we can go to our cleric and then we'll be back there in no time. Now I'm not really concerned about getting like really geared up to go back through because in my mind, like I'm just, I'm literally just gonna go and grab my stuff. We just needed emeralds and some basic food and stuff. So I'm not overly concerned about it. We'll be okay. We'll grab some sticks to make some quick tools. But now we know, um, I don't have protection of the hive. <laughs> That's um, good to know. I wonder if there's an, no, no advancement about it. So now we know, we're, we're learning. We're learning the things. I all of a sudden like saw the notification that I don't have the hive's protection. And then I, I knew I had done messed up, which that's fine. You know, it's, it's all fine. We'll be good. Okay. We'll get our food cooked up and then we'll go back. Oh, I guess I did even like grab the uh, the food that I put in here, which is kind of silly of me for being real. Now, I think I remember I can e trade experience nuggets, so that's kind of cool. So we'll, uh, we'll leave those there, but we'll go like so. And it is almost night time. So we'll sleep in our bed and then we'll go to the village because we have little experience points. And then I need to figure out how to get the hives protection. I thought I had to feed the bees. So we might, once we get the honeycomb back, we might kind of experiment with that. Cause I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. But next we're gonna go to our XP farm. I honestly should have just added the uh, away stone right away. I'm being honest. 
So we have some emeralds in here, and I'm honestly gonna leave some... Oh, there was some extras. Okay. Oh, and lapis. I forgot I can get lapis from these guys. Okay, this is good. We've got some to go back through. I feel, I feel safe. So now, let's go home. And I... I feel like we should make sure we go through the exact same beehive. So we're going back to our little uh, Moo Bloom pens. We're gonna go and get some supplies back. Okay. Hi bees, excuse me, back we go. All right, we're teleporting and there's my death. I'm glad that I did start um, kind of marking out some some lights in here. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, she's got like a little shirt on or something. I want to know what you guys are. What kind of bees are you? They're so cute. Okay. There is so much pollen. It's interesting they don't care about the pollen. Right? Like the pollen helps them make all of their honey. So you'd think they'd care about the pollen. They really don't seem to care when I scoop up the pollen at all. Which I think is very interesting. I never would have expected that, if we're being honest. I thought they would care a lot more about, I mean, mostly just everything, if I'm being real. Because everything here helps them <laughs> make, uh, make their honey. Oh, I like that there's an Enderman, just in case we want to, uh, try to, like, teleport places. Okay. Now, I feel like I should not try to grab any of the, uh... <gasps> Why are they still mad? Oh. Okay, they're not mad anymore? How do I... Okay. All right. Uh, I like how it tells me protected for, wait, protected. Oh, look at my poor little head. Nice, that's, that's nice. Okay. Yep, just strung to death. We love that. Look at, I've got my little sleeping bag and things. It's kind of cool that there, it just like has this, you know? That's kind of fun. I like it. I mean, I don't like it, but like, it's it's still cool. Like, we still get all these fun little particles, which is cool, but not not fun. Take all of it, and we can put some of this back. Um. Okay. So we'll exchange the armor really quick. I won't need that. I won't need that. I won't need that. Now, let's see here. We've got a backpack, so let's put that on. We can put it in the backpack slot. Now, I feel like we can just add in the things. And I'm pretty sure, so I do want to try the honeycomb thing. I feel like the honeycomb thing is legit. Quiver, so we can put the quiver, it's on our side. And then... We'll take our feather fall boots and put those on. We'll take our pillaring blocks. I won't need a shield. We'll take our compass back. We'll leave all the seeds. We'll put some of these things back away. And then... I think I want to try to just like fit more things. The bread trying to like condense everything but it's kind of hard when everything just gets really filled up you know i do want to take some of this pollen home and i definitely want to take that home so maybe what we do is let's put the bucket away and then let's see here okay so if I just continue on. Now there's only pollen in here. Interesting. There's just different science. Fascinating. Okay, we'll just leave that. Yep. Just leaving that. I want to know what these things are. 
So this seems like something. And I don't know what that something is. Also, I don't need these iron tools. Let's take our, our good stuff. And bring them back down. Let's put our compass in our offhand. Take some snacking. Now, I'm really curious what we do with the honey. Can I feed you with the honey? Oh, wow. A lot of this. Okay. So, this just seems like a new block. And I have a feeling I can't break the new block. But this looks like the maze that we're getting to. Ancient wax diamond. Um, hello? What are those? There's like little bees in there. Oh, wow, look at all the honeycomb pods. That's so cool. That's so many. Oh my word. <gasps> Whoa. I have a feeling this, though, is the thing that I'm looking to find. But I also don't want to... I'm afraid to break stuff now. For being real. I don't want to break anything, but I think... Should I try again? I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe we don't try again. Maybe we leave it alone. And let's try to come back here. This makes me feel like it's the maze. Yeah? Is this a maze? No? Okay. Maybe not. Interesting. Oh no. I can't break any of your blocks or otherwise you're gonna get annoyed at me. So let's be strategic. We jump up here and then we jump up here. We jump in the pollen. I wonder how far we have to go. We're definitely going towards like sugar water. Ooh. Whoa. <gasps> I wonder if I can boat in the sugar water. That would be kind of cool, right? Um, should we try it? We could try it. Let's uh let's grab our experience points. And then let's try boating. I don't think this is gonna work. Ow. Ow. We can try it. It, it wouldn't hurt. Oh, oh my gosh. D does this work? Oh, I'm boating in the honey water. That's so cool. Look at sugar water. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, like for real though, like what are you? Can I break this? Are they going to be mad at me? Please don't be mad at me. I have a feeling you're going to be mad at me. Oh. So you don't care about a diamond. Interesting. Oh, look at this. You can, like, make different things from it. There's bee wax. Interesting. There's honey web. Redstone honey web. Interesting. I kind of like the idea of these giant candles. Not going to lie. That sounds so cool. A potion candle. Whoa, that's cool. Carvable wax. Interesting. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, but well let's follow. <gasps> Boy. Hi, buddy. Can I feed you wax? Okay, maybe I can't feed you wax. Can I try to feed you wax? Will you let me try to feed you wax? No? Okay. That That's fair. Okay, let's go this way. This is so interesting. I wonder if I need to be further up. This place is very much so the exact same thing. And I don't know what I think about that. There's like something up there. Interesting, okay. So it looks like going this way is the right direction. So let's try to get to the end of this little waterway. And then I think we'll be able to continue finding things. At least I hope we find things. It is really cool to just be in this honey world. Like, look at this. There's just honey under the water. So cool. But I am really curious what we're gonna find, you know, 
around. Maybe we try to get in that water vein. That could be good, right? I also keep picking up things I don't need to have picked up. So we're going to quickly hop out of our boat and just like pour stuff back into the river. I didn't need all of these and they're just going to take up space when I don't need space taken up. And we're gonna do this. We'll put our ax, our shovel. I'm not gonna take any bottles out. What's funny is I didn't even like get anything. Like I didn't get anything from that bucket. I just got killed. <laughs> I just got got by the bees. That's all that happened. <laughs> okay. So if I look here, I don't know why I'm seeing, whoa, <gasps> hive wall. This looks like something I want to explore. Now, if I go back to this compass, let's see, a hanging garden. Um, so, okay, if we look here, the honey compass locates a cell maze structure interesting so maybe that's what we're going towards it's like straight through here i have a feeling we have to go up so maybe let's try to go through this water stream wait i hear b why are you angry why are you mad i don't want you why are you all mad oh <gasps> whoa they were mad at the, the spider. Okay, the bees are way cooler. Hello. Okay, I need to know what you are. Please stay low to the ground. Please stay low to the ground. Or just go up higher in the air. Okay, fine. Hello, buddy. Hello. Can you please tell me what you are? You're wearing a cool outfit. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> yes. Yes. No. Come back. No. Okay, guess they don't want to be my friend. Ha, <laughs> be my friend. Too funny. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to our boat. Literally, that's so funny that they started attacking the spider. That's hilarious. Okay, so this feels like a good direction for us to travel now. So we're gonna go up. And I'm glad they're okay with me being in the honey water, and that's not problematic. <gasps> wow, look at you guys. A brood block. Can I feed you? Right click. Right click. I have honey bottles. Do I have more? Oh, I have a few honey bottles. <gasps> Whoa. Winning favors? Wait, what is this? Feed a honeycomb brood block or B until you get protection of the hive. <gasps> That's how we do it. Okay, we have four. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Wait, that's so cute! <gasps> but I'm out of honey blocks. <gasps> Look at I have protection of the hive! Uh... Wait, does that mean I can scoop the water? Whoa, why did I get... Hello? Ooh, I have protection of the hive now. Look at this, if I feed them, they're so cute. Advancement made. What did I do? I got honey bottles. Okay, so here's what we do, okay? This is the strategy. We can, we can take these and uh, i'm collecting honey with them interesting i wish it made a sound that would be really really appealing if it made a sound but this is my ticket right if i have protection of the hive then the the bees will leave me be now what i can also do is i can i can we'll take a bucket yep and I'll get some some sugar water before it wears off. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're learning, guys. So bring honey bottles into the area with you. And then find these little guys. And then you can feed them. 
I wish they would stack more. Oh no, they do stack more. <gasps> but that's so cool. Oh my gosh, we figured it out. So we have a sugar water bucket and a sugar water bottle. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with these things. <gasps> we can make a honey bucket. I don't have the, the hive thing, so we'll we'll feed the babies again. Yeah, I wonder. Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love it so much. All right, so if I just can I scoop honey this way? <gasps> Whoa! We've got the honey blocks. We've got protection of the hive. That's amazing. Okay, and then with the empty bottles, I'm glad they give them back to us because that just means we can scoop more honey and keep this all going. So, okay, that's how we get protection of the hive, which is really good to know, but let's travel upwards. We're still trying to follow the compass. Hello, baby bees. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, I guess we're, we're moving up and about. Okay. I want to like, oh, forgot about, um, you know, details like not accidentally, uh, drowning. Okay. Now if I come like, ouch, this, okay, it's fine. Hi, buddy. Are you about to be born? The animations on these is also super cool. Look at that. Should we help him out? There you go, buddy. Have a good life. Okay, look at this. This is so cool. This is literally all the same thing. That's so neat. That's so cool. Okay. Now, we start making our way this way. Now, let's take a look at our map. So, this looks like something we want to go to. That looks pretty. Now, let's just take our map. Let's mark this. There's something in here, but let's just set a temporary waypoint there and try to make our way. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> There's candles. Oh my gosh, it's the giant candles. <gasps> Can I take those? Can I has it? Can I pretty please has it? This is so interesting. Okay, so maybe we have to go down. Oh, look, there's more of the bees with the cute little outfits. This is so cool. Okay, should we just jump? I feel like we should just jump. It's water, right? <laughs> Ra woo! Oh, wait. Oh, they attacked a spider over here. This is so cool. Oh, we're in that, uh, we're in that room. The hive walls. Interesting. That's so interesting. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go looking around. I really want some of these big little pillars of candles. That looks so, so cool. Now, the interesting thing is like, what do you do? Ooh, that's like a, that looks like a pot of some kind. So, oh, why do I have all these effects? Oh, gosh. I don't like that. Oh, they're permanently? Why is it permanently? Is it because I'm in here? I bet it's because I'm in here. Okay, so mining fatigue three. So I'm not supposed to be able to pick anything up, which is quite unfortunate. There's a spider cave over there. So if this is the hive wall, it has to lead somewhere, right? Like there's something in here. And I can try to find it. I just can't mine anything up. Which is interesting. <gasps> oh no, buddy! Get out of the water! <gasps> no, the poor little bee. Oh, he's a goner. Poor dude. Okay. Um. Interesting. So I want to grab some of these big candles, but I think because I have mining fatigue, I won't be able to actually pick them up. 
So this is what I'm trying to figure out. So this is the area. It doesn't, these are hive walls, so there's something here. Now, maybe we just try following the, the compass and maybe this leads us out of here. I do want to try to pick up a candle though. These just seem too cool. A super candle. Oh. <gasps> Wait, I'm out of the water? Is that what it is? Is that really what it is? It's the water. What, what was the mining fatigue for? Am I like... <gasps> but they're so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the front. Super candles. I love that they're called super candles. That just makes them way cooler. And now makes me feel better that I can just like go around and grab a bunch of them because I won't have mining fatigue. So uh, let's grab some more. Luminescent. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult to grab. Do I have any effects? No. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna jump up here. Gonna go pop and pop. <gasps> Why are they angry? Why are they angry? Why didn't they go in the water? Do they, I wonder if when they're angry, they go, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, something like pushed me. Did you guys notice that? <gasps> whoa, interesting. That was strange. Did you see that? It like literally pushed me from the top. Interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. Now this is science. If it happens again, I have no effects. If it happens again, it's intentional. If I try shifting. Interesting. Okay, so these have like wind portals. Almost? That's what it seems like. I just take... Whoa, whoa, that's so weird. Interesting. So it's trying to push me through, but I've blocked myself, so it doesn't, it can't push me through. But if I remove this block, oh, well, okay, I have my fatigue three. But it's trying to like push me off the edges. And then it removes all of the effects. Very curious. So we're learning new things, but this place is cool. Let's uh, screenshot the, these chords so I can remember this. And if you are playing along in this uh, better Minecraft world too, and you're in the Bumble Zone, I'm also curious to uh, check out these things. I think that's the next thing we check out. I have a feeling that's gonna get me more hurt going up to this, so we'll see. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep the regular brown candles it's only really the big ones i'm interested in truly i will grab this string because the the mother queen bee says she likes the, the string we're being fed the string okay this is such an interesting place but it's super cool it's fun to actually get to explore like completely different. Oh, it's a honey cocoon. Mm, I have a feeling if I break this, I'm gonna make some bees angry. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, wait a minute. A saddle, echo shards, glow berries. Wait, I want, I want this pot thing. It's a little cocoon, that's so cute. Echo shards though, and glow berries? <gasps> Hello? That's so cool, but now I have mining fatigue. Oh, oh, let me, oh, oh, ah, okay, ouch. Dude, that's cool. So the pots have special things in them. 
Oh, my inventory is so full. Otherwise, this will be much better. Okay, I don't think I want the ancient wax. Um, but this is so cool. My goodness. Okay, let's try one more time. It didn't seem like the bees... Oop, I guess I went underwater too long. The bees didn't really get upset at me. It was mostly just the wind and the, the, the fatigue. Oh, my grave expired. That's okay. I didn't need that. I'm totally okay without it now. I grabbed the things. I wonder if it tells you... It doesn't tell you what, but it tells me where the grave was, which, you know, that is helpful. Okay, let's try one more of these things, because it's just cool. We'll grab some more pillaring blocks. I'm glad that I brought pillaring blocks. Okay, so we're going all the way up to this one. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. I'm also grabbing the big candles. Because why not? And we're taking this with us. And then we're going to add some more blocks. Oh, let's... Oh, I can right-click them, guys. You can right-click them, I repeat. Ooh, okay. That's super cool. Oh no, I want to grab, I want to take it with me. No, let me take it away. Okay, there we go, perfect. So we've got extra ender pearls now. We've got the candles. This is so cool. Oh, I have the mining fatigue. Okay, we've got the pot. And I think we just try to go down. Whee! Okay, now we follow our honey compass. I think the next thing, we've kind of explored that feature. So now we're just going to go explore where the compass is leading us. And call that good. It hasn't turned around, so this wasn't the structure. This just looks super cool. Like, I'm not even sure what this is, but it looks pretty sweet. It's really fun to just kind of, like, look at things. I have a feeling this is, like, a spawner up here, which is kind of sad because then it's, like, by all the baby bees, which is a little unfortunate. But so far, we have made a shield, a honey shield, which is cool. Honey crystal shield. We're picking up these little cocoon things, which are really fun. We've got a bunch of puffs, which I think those are really cool. We've, interestingly enough, found echo shards and, like, different potions inside a different little thing, which is cool. So this so far has been a very fun little adventure in the Bumble Zone. It's really cool that these guys aren't um, dangerous. They just kind of hang out. They're cute. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Guess what we can do? I'm doing it. Hi, buddy. <gasps> gosh. A honey slime. We can bring it home. Okay, yes. Oh my word. We can have a honey slime at home. Okay. We're bringing a honey slime home. All right. And we're going to name the honey slime. And they're going to vibe in our area for forever. So he, they need a name. So let's uh put in the comments some name suggestions. And then we can name tag our little friend. But I'm excited for that. That'll be cool. I wish I could have an easier way to get around. Um, having an elytra would be great. Don't have that. So we're just going on foot. You know what I could do? This would be an interesting way to travel, right? So with this mod that I can pick up different things and put them in the capture cell. <gasps> Why are you angry? And then you're not angry. Okay. I'm just on edge from these bees. <laughs> but what my idea is, is I could just like bring a horse with me. And then once the horse, you know, I have them captured, they're tamed, we've got a saddle, then we can just go and bring them in here and just kind of ride around. And maybe they'd get stuck in the, the pollen, but maybe they wouldn't. Maybe it would work super well. All right, I feel like we have to go this way. There's so much pollen. Look at this build up here. That's so much pollen. Ooh. Let's go investigate this thing. Oh, hello. I'm curious 
I don't think they get upset at me for messing with this, so I think we're okay. But it is kind of interesting that it's like an option to like explore and go up to. So this kind of makes me feel like there's something inside it. But I'm not quite sure. Let's try to dig. Ancient wax diamond. Now, it does just seem like this is decorative. Like, old carved wax that has significantly hardened over centuries. It has become imbued with strange unknown power and is highly resistant to explosions. Right click with a sword or shears to change this block's pattern. <gasps> what? Hello? Right click. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you kidding? That's so cool. I was throwing these out because I didn't think they were cool. That is actually super cool. Okay, we're taking a few of these home. These will be accents. That's literally incredible. The block can be changed. What? That's so cool. So if you're looking for building blocks that you can change, the bumble zone. Oh, okay. But you don't like me being in the thing. Okay, that, that is fair. We'll just we'll stay out of the thing. And, okay, this already takes a long time without stepping inside it. Interesting. It seems like, oh, I'm going to say, it seems like there's like a drop off. Pile of pollen, okay. Nothing too interesting. So, it seems like we need to go this way. This place does just seem to maze about. I did have a temporary waystone placed, but I'm kind of, I do want to find where that honey compass leads us, but I want to find one of these things and one of these things. So maybe let's just go to this thing. I think I'm more curious to find those things. Still on the map. We've got a waypoint, so let's just go this way. Let's go find and explore the thing. There's already some purple. <gasps> Wait, I think this is a secret garden. <gasps> That's one of the, the quest advancements, guys. <gasps> this is so exciting. <laughs> I literally, I'm like trying to go as fast as I can. Like I am sprinting. <laughs> like, can I? This has to go quicker. There has to be a faster way. I know you can ride the bees, but I have to figure out how you do that. Is there like a specific type of bee for this quest? For this journey? Because it does seem like that would be helpful. Okay. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Okay, there's crystals in here. Oh, 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 oh. Tactical pollen. Hello. Okay, I guess we sink in the pollen. Interesting. Okay. <gasps> Yay! I can see the things! <gasps> Whoa! Okay, how do I get in here without the bees getting mad at me? This is the question that I have. Oh, I know. Alt. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go sneaking. We're gonna go crawl our way into there. <gasps> Bet they didn't think we had this with better Minecraft. Okay, if I crawl. Ooh, okay. I need to get up a block. Okay. Now watch this. Ahaha. Ah, you can't keep me from exploring. Ow. Ooh, what is this? Oh, they have a cherry tree in here. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. They've got all the flowers. <gasps> what is this? Wax? Oh my gosh, the wax can get changed too. That's so cool. <gasps> is this a hidden garden? I feel like this has to be a hidden garden. Wait, there's little dudes in here. Oh, this is so cute. Wow, and there's crystals. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello, pollen. I'm gonna just scoop you out of the way. Oh! <gasps> wait, wait, what are you? A rootman? Okay, 
you, Mr. Rootman, you're so cute. Can I feed you things? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm finding the cutest pops in here. Freaking out. That's so fun. <gasps> Wait, there's several of them. So this is a Rootman too? Hi, buddy. Can I jump on you? I don't think I can take your flowers. I think you'd be upset at that. Oh, that's actually so cute. What do they do? Do they just like protect this place? <gasps> Owie, excuse you. Excuse you, I know I took your friend. Excuse you. Owie, what was that for, dude? I'm just trying to compliment you. I was just trying to compliment you. Maybe you don't like me being in here. Would that be a good guess? I feel like that's a good guess. Interesting, okay. Well, I don't have a lot of storage, but I do want to make sure that I can get all these cool wax blocks in here, but there's different, they're different textures. Right, so that's the one thing. I need to pick and choose what's worth bringing home with me. I think we'll get rid of the bread. Ooh. Whoa, there's some of the brood blocks. Hello? Okay, maybe these don't come with me. Brood blocks. Candles. Fascinating. Okay, okay. We've got cool things. Okay. I feel like the dude is just gonna like, at any point, just like, tack. Ooh, uh, we got another advancement. We've got another little pot. We'll put them in there. This is so cool. I love finding all these fun little things. We got sticky honeycomb residue. I don't know what how to feel about you just going around here. You're like hiding, but I feel like you're just gonna like... Whoa, whoa. What is this compass? Hello? What are you? Lesser mystery structure. Where does this lead to? I don't, I don't know where this leads to. I'm very curious though. Okay, let's put this away. Wait. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, it has... I'm looking... Okay, I have two compasses in my hand. If we're looking at this um, new one... That's so cool. Oh, I wonder... Owie! Hey, buddy! Stop it! Ooh, whoa, that's a cool effect. Podzel. Okay, well, honestly, even though this dude is being a little stinker and hurting me, I think I want to set up a waystone in here. This feels like a safe starting point, Okay. Minus little dude. I'm taking little dude with me, so little dude won't be an issue. But this is such a cute little spot. Let's just make this be a waste stone. Now, little bee garden is what we're going to call this. And now, if I hurt myself, we've officially got the little bee garden. I could call it the little bee garden, you know, feel the vibes. But we'll just uh, leave it like that. And then we're gonna add a crafting table in here, and I'm gonna leave a chest. I think having a chest in here would be super helpful. Because I've got so many cool little things, but I don't need all of it. All at once. It's a little too much all at once. So we'll leave the candles. And we'll leave these guys here. Now, we've got a rootman, so let's take one of these ones. Hello, little guy. Come with me. Thank you very much. All right, so we've got another little friend. So we'll take these, we'll take the glisterings. Actually, the glistering I'll keep in here. But now we can like bring stuff home, which is super cool. I'm excited for that. We'll leave the echo shards in here and we'll leave these in here. The honey shield we'll bring with us, but now I have actual room to put my shoes back in there. And all these extra things. But I'm really curious where this one goes but i do want to also kind of grab other blocks in here and i can get rid of this 
delete this thing. There's another root man, it's saying, which I don't know where one would be. <laughs> um, I also don't want all these blocks, but we can put them in here. Just like so. Now we can take all of these wax blocks because the wax blocks we can have into different kind of like creative blocks, which is really cool. Now, this is the flower that I want to find. It's made of magical honey crystals that consumes items. Yeah, we just need to find the amethyst. So I think if we kind of go back out and up, there were these purple things. I guarantee that's where the amethyst things are. And there was one over here. So I think we came from here. So it's not like super far away. So I say we try to go back here. So let's do a temporary waypoint over to that, the blue. Okay, so we've got our blue waypoint figured out over there, 100. So we'll just grab these last blocks. And now I feel a lot safer, honestly, being in here because I know I'm just able to just use a waypoint, get back to this spot. It'll be a little bit easier. There's no bees here, so I feel safer too. Like I'm not going to get attacked by them. I can just do my own thing in safety. Okay. We'll put this um, other compass in our backpack for now, but let's uh, let's try to go back through here. Can I make it out? It's just a path. It seems like it's a path to something. Is it a path of something that will help me go places? I'm not quite positive. We've got some of the crystals. Always nice. Okay. I think I'm inside an area. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, there was a spider here? Okay. Um, not what we want. Also, why is this guy green? That's interesting, right? Okay. We're going back. I'm not exactly sure. Also, we need to put a... Uh, a I think did I come this way? No, I didn't. We jumped up here. So we're just gonna go back and I'm gonna create a waypoint of where we were just so I remember. And we're gonna name this place just so I remember this. So if I go to my map, I can hit the, let's see, let's make a waypoint. Um, let's see. I can add a waypoint. Can I just like click on this? Oh yeah, create a waypoint. This is what it was. And let's make it be gold. Well, actually we'll probably want it to be contrasting. So I'll make it be white. And I'll say be waystone. And we'll just leave it like that. So we have our be waystone. So we'll always know where, we, where we're trying to go. And then I'm gonna open this up so that I can actually get in here. Okay, I think we're okay. No bees saw me moving, so we're safe. Ooh, we got a porous honey block. And then I think we can just stair step our way out. And if I take some torches, we can light up this area, which will be even better. So I'll put some in the walls here. And we can also get another shield, which is cool. I love this. It's so pretty. Okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of like have a little path that leads us up and out of here. Oh, we did it again. All of this. All of the pollen. <laughs> okay. Well, that, I mean, it helps us get out, so I guess that's okay. But now we need to go towards the blue. Oops, excuse me. Excuse me, Pollen. I'm trying to... Bruh. <laughs> trying to get through here. I am stuck. 
Oh my goodness, that was tough. There's a green bee, look at that. I wanna like, see what he does. I'm very, very curious. This is super cool. I'm just trying to light up this area because it's not very bright. Okay. Um, let's try going this way. Let's see here. We're going towards the blue waypoint, so we're getting closer. We're like actually very close, which is perfect. I feel like this has to be our little uh our little our little spot. Alright, and jump up. Jump up. Oh, there's a little crevice there to go inside to see what we can find and explore. Now, let's go here. Where's the waypoint? Oh, it's down. Interesting. Okay, so let's try to get up over this hill. Okay. Now, where did it go? On the map, we're like right over here. Oh, there's something here. What is this? I don't think this... Oh, it's just water. Ow. Oh my gosh, look at all of you. Uh, look at them. Interesting. So if I feed you, then I can take these goodies, right? I have the protection of the hive. Oh, don't go over there. Okay. Oh, bee bread. What? A brood block? Oh my gosh. So there's bee bread. Excuse me. Bee soup, bee bread. Oh, interesting. We can have different things made. So pollen and honey makes bee bread. Can I like feed them their little bee bread? That's so cool. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like there's much else for me to do with this room. So these rooms are just for the water. So now you know, like I know. Now I need to get out of here. Why are you angry? Okay. So, if I want the hive's protection... Let's grab some more honey quickly. And then... This helps me leave and get out. Okay, so we can grab these. Now, these are just the porous blocks, so it's not like I'm hurting the bees. I'm just trying to leave. Okay, so we're making our way out. Okay, this is the way we're getting out. And I have the bees' protection, so they're not going to hurt me. Which is good, but now we know what was in there. Oh, hi, little buddy. Do you know how to get out? Because I'm kind of lost myself. Let's go this way. And then I think we can just get out this way. I just have to be quick. Okay, so we made our way out. We're doing it. We're getting it done. Yay. Alright, so... We know that these are now little water kind of like shrine things. So we've explored that, which is fun. Now, as far as other structures, there are little flower things we could explore further. And now we know that there's these little root guys where the little flower trees are, which is also kind of cool. So we definitely have some fun things. Now, I do want to continue following the compass. But we do have two compasses. So it's lesser mystery structure versus a cell maze 
honey compass. And I kind of honestly wonder if this is pointing to that. Because, I mean, it is kind of going exactly that way. If we look at it. Well, actually, it's going this way. So maybe it's not as, uh... It's not leading us to something we've already been to. But I think we should follow our first compass. So we'll just keep exploring and we'll stop along the way to see if there's anything else that's cool. I'm glad I have food though, I will say. And I'm glad I figured out how to get the hive's protection. It's kind of handy that I can just use the hive's protection whenever I need to. That's super helpful, honestly. Um, I am going to get rid of these waystones just so that I clean up the places I'm not trying to get to anymore. But now we just keep exploring in the in the pollen. It is kind of cool, but it also makes it just tough to travel. I know that there's a way to ride the bees, and that's the thing I'm the most interested in, is figuring out what mechanic in this game, or if there's like a type of bee that I have to find. But it just sounds really cool. And that is not really cool. A spider jockey? Why are you here? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Get him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait, the spider died. Oh my gosh. Oh, interesting. It only cares about spiders. It's leaving the skeleton alone. Oh, and then there's a spider up there. Are you going to get him, guys? Oh, look. Oh, he's going to get him. Get him, buddy. Get him, buddies. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. That's, that's so cool. I love it. It's so fun. Can I, like, hop on you? No, I can't. Probably too much pollen, if we're being real. I'm just I'm gonna keep an eye out for him. I don't want him to see me. I also just love how these guys just, they just, like, make the pollen just, like, floof everywhere. <laughs> if you had allergies, this would be, like, the absolute worst place to be. Can you imagine? <laughs> like, this is all the things that you would not want with allergies. But it is pretty. I will say I was a little bit nervous coming in here because I wasn't sure if this was going to be, like, a scary place. Or if it was going to be pretty chill and just kind of, like, calm. But I figured that, like, it's just about bees, you know? Like, it can't be too crazy. So that made me feel a little bit better about being in here. And, like, oh gosh, there's just so much pollen. And not being, like, too concerned. I also feel like I'm in, like, dripstone caves. But just a different environment, you know? I'm also noticing that I'm not seeing any of those am like those um ones on the ceiling anymore, those little crystal guys on the ceiling. I'm finding lights, but there was some ones that seemed to have purple on them. Ow. The pollen doesn't do anything to stop fall damage, that's good to know. But the thing I'm interested in is if we'll find more of those crystal things on the ceiling, you know? If they're very rare and I just, like, missed all of them back there. Because <laughs> I kind of feel that way. I just like that there's just lights back there. It's so cool. I also just want to get close to some of these bees that are unique. Oh, I bet I think I had... Oh, I left flowers in my other bag. Rats. Because that would have been the thing to bring with me. That would have brought the bees close to me. That would have been perfect. You live and you learn. Alright, we're going to jump up here. Make our way around. So this is still the correct direction. Ooh, don't want to fall down. Okay, so it wants us to go this way still, so let's take our boat. Still got a boat on us. And then we've got the brood block, which is cool. 
It's so funny you can make just straight bread, right? Like, that's so fun. Okay. Ouch. Here we go. We're off on another adventure in the world of fun. All right, this seems like we should go up this direction if we're following our compass. The Grand Bee Adventure continues. Just surrounded by pollen. Ow. And, uh, ooze. All right, and jump up, go over here. All the way, don't fall in the pollen. Okay. I'm very curious if we're actually gonna get close or not to this. <laughs> like this world is just, oh, wait. Okay, see these things? I think these are the rideable ones. This is what I've been looking for. <gasps> I can have a bee to ride, yes. Okay, let's find them. Let's find our little friends. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness, you're so cute. Okay, I need, to, I need to figure out how to ride you. Oh my gosh, I can ride a bee. And then it'll be so much easier. Yeah, it'll be so much easier. Just the puns, you know? I, do, I just can't believe it. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> uh, okay, I'm literally so excited. I, I'm not exactly sure how to get on the, the bee. That's the, the problem. Do I have to, like, feed them honey bottles, do we think? I just... Um, or do I, like, can I, like, put them on a lead? If we try that approach... Maybe that's the way? Hi, buddy! Oh my gosh, he's so large! Just look at his feet! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Behemoth! Wait, come here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. How do I? Hello? Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Oh, hi. How do I... Can I feed you? No, I just did the same thing. No, come back. Come back, my bee. Um, where did the lead go? Okay, I don't know what to do here. Hi, buddy. Okay, well, I have a bee. <laughs> How do I ride you? <laughs> Look how cute this is, though! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's adorable. I have a bee. And he will just follow me around. Look at that. He's just following me. I love that. Okay. So, I need to figure out how I ride you. Now, okay, here's my thought. I'm going to temporarily put down a chest. Just so I can clear out some of this pollen from my inventory. I feel like the pollen is literally the same thing as all of the, uh, the snowballs. Because it just is clogging my inventory right now. Now, I want to make a fence post so I can tie him up temporarily until I figure out how I actually can ride him. Because I have a, a, a sh like, a, I have the saddle, so, like, I don't know what it's about. But let's, I think it goes like this. Is this the one? Yes, okay. So we got a fence gate. Okay, so we've got the fence posts now from what? I just was looking at we have to feed them bottles of honey which I have 14 of and you can feed them bee bread which we only have two but we can make so it looks like you can take a honey bucket or you can take pollen with this and you get one so it kind of seems like I could just feed them with the bottles oh <gasps> wait Oh my gosh, are we friends? I, I literally, but did that already happen? Oh! <gasps> Stop! Wait. Oh my gosh. <gasps> We're friends. Oh my, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. That is so cool. How do I go up? 
Um, oh. Friendship points. Oh my gosh, we can be like best buddies. <gasps> this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Why are you angry? Why are you looking mad? Why are you looking mad? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <gasps> Look at this, we're running a bee. Oh my word, that's so cool. Okay, so if I get off of you. Okay. Dude, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm just like going. Okay, so you're stuck on this. Excuse me, you wanna move out of my way, please? I can't get the lead for you if you don't move, buddy. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh my gosh, we got a little guy. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so hyped for this. This is so, so cool. Okay, so let's put these away. We've got the bee bread. <gasps> Hi, bud. Okay, okay, we have to try this now. We have to try it. Okay. <laughs> Look at this, look at this go. Oh my word, we're proving a bee. <laughs> look at us go. <laughs> Hang on, we have to free cam this. Look at me, I want a bee. <laughs> look at this, we're riding a bee. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Oh my word, this is hilarious. Look at us. Cute. I've got my little compass for going places. That's actually so adorable. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. Literally obsessed with this. <gasps> Look at this. We've got a bee friend. Oh my gosh. I love that. Okay. Well, that is incredible. Okay. Well, now this makes us... So it kind of just goes with your mouse. So if you're kind of curious, I'm just moving my mouse. And then I'm pressing the forward button. And if I look down or if I look up, it kind of changes the direction the bee goes. So really it's just directed by your mouse, which is cool. But look at this. They're very slow, but it made it seem... Okay, look at our map. <laughs> look how giant this bee is in comparison. <laughs> I love that so much. It's just like a giant bee. Now, the other cool thing that it was saying is we can actually bring these bees back to the overworld by just breaking through the ceiling with vein miner, which will like clear all the blocks so there's a big enough like space. And basically, you kind of just end up going through the, um, the overworld in a way. So it's kind of cool. But I think we're just going to try to go up. I feel like I want to try to find one of those amethyst crystals as we're on our way up and over to where we have more of the, the compass directing us. And I feel like we have to get around this area first. But I am really just hoping I can find some more of the amethyst ones. I would love that. But it is kind of fun to be able to just like look... Like, we're moving faster, but I still feel like we're going pretty slow, right? Like, but look at this. We're just riding a bee. We're looking so cute on our little bee. I love that we can ride bees. <laughs> oh, and look, there's another little behemoth. Hello, bud. I love that they're also called behemoths. Like, can we be any cuter? <laughs> Get it. So there's more of these structures too that we've already been to, which is interesting. I feel like this is the maze that we're supposed to go to. I'm not exactly sure. It's hard to tell. Okay, so there's like some straight like candle wax, which is cool. But we're not looking for candle. I'm very tempted to make more of those cells and then come back and grab another behemoth. But we can always just, you know, ride our little bee friend. <gasps> Ooh, wait, look. <gasps> Ooh, right there, do you see that? That, I think, is what we're looking for. Oh, that's just another one of those little things. We've already been to there, but we can go look. I thought it was going to be the amethyst, so I got really excited for it. 
this is so cool. Literally so fun. We're just chugging along. Look at the little straps that go on the bee. It's just so cute. We just chug a lug along. We could check out another one of these things though. And we do have a lead and we still have fences, right? So we can definitely just stop by for a little visit. Now what's funny is like, I'm not even pressing the space bar and our friend is going upwards. Look at we. We're literally just going up. We're going up to the stars. Exactly in the spot right here. Perfect, okay. All right, now let's go like so. Now. <gasps> oh no. I'm sorry. Oh. No, I don't have my bee. <sighs> okay. This this is going to be a journey, guys. Um <sighs> You know, feather falling can only do so much, and I was a little concerned of this happening. But this is the most we've died in a long play. <laughs> Take 2. <laughs> All right, I think uh, I think after this, once we get our little bee friend back, we're we're just doing all iron to start. Oh, we're gonna have quite the journey to get to where I just died. That is unfortunate, but you know, I don't know what I really expected. Uh, doing what I did, so that's that's totally fair. But that's part of adventuring, right? Like. Genuine adventures can often end in just you know, um, not really not doing too hot sometimes. So that's part of the experience of the long play. It doesn't always go according to plan. Ay -ay -ay. Definitely not going according to plan, but it is okay. We will figure it out. This is a comb cutter. So this mines the combs, the hives, the nests, and the wax blocks faster. I say we take this guy with us. And hopefully we don't die this time. And we'll take that with us. Okay. Then let's quickly go do some trading with the villagers for some iron. And at least now we have a waystone there, right? So that's like one step closer to where we need to be to get back to where we just were. So let's grab iron. And then I always put it back where it was. Then we go trade with our little friends down here to get our levels. This actually works pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. Like, we get all their XPs. We get a bunch of emeralds. Then we just go grab the XPs from everybody. We got five, which is pretty good. Reset again. Do some crouching. There we go. And then we can put iron back. I don't think I'll need any of this. The Luckily, the bee place, our little bumble zone, isn't like dangerous by any means. But it does just require us to have XP. And actually, I think I just need XP. Because if I just go use our waypstone, we should be able to get uh, back through. Now here's what I have learned, okay? So the Bumble Zone is, you know, it's cute. It isn't too dangerous, but you do have to be careful. <laughs> you can still get hurt, but the little bee garden will be our starting point. So we're here. Yay for us. Now, Jump Boost I think is gonna help us move a little bit quicker, but I'm going to bring the pink petals with us. I thought I heard that dude. So let's bring some flowers. You know, we can make friends with some bees along the way. Now, I don't think there was anything specifically in the drawers. The only thing I had wanted was some of the flowers. Now, we've got some food. So, um... Oh my gosh, we're going a thousand blocks. Okay. Once we get our bee... Hmm. 
Yeah, once we get our bee, I'm gonna take him up through the ceiling and we're gonna leave. Because I think I have like 30 minutes before this guy um, despawns. So we've gotta be quick about it all. I'm curious if I take the leaping potion. Now it's only a minute and 30, so I don't think I wanna use it up quite yet. But we'll, we'll go with this for now. I just need to get around these corners here. I wonder if I just scoop this. Will this just like get me places quicker? It kind of seems like it does. We just need to jump places every once in a while. And then I can kind of know if I'm gonna like accidentally fall down somewhere, right? Ouch. Oh, I don't have feather fall. I don't have my feather fall boots on. I need to be careful. We need to be careful. But you know, this is, like I was saying, this is part of adventuring. It's not always gonna be perfect. It's, you're going to have some, some danger and some death, even in a cozy little spot like this. I also need to be careful because I'm filling up my inventory with the, uh, the pollen. And yeah, I need to be careful about that. What's going to be really funny is me trying to get to my death point. My bee is going to be up in the air. So I need to... How do I get down here without hurting myself? Now we're going to go in the water. This will make us go quicker, hopefully. Oh no, bee! I wish... I, oh, that's so sad. I hate seeing them drown in the water. I, like, don't know how to help with that either. Ooh, that looks dark. Oh, that looks kind of scary on the walls. Okay, you know what? We're making it. We're, we're making the best of it. We're exploring. We know where we're going, which always feels nice. So it doesn't feel as bad. Oh, your slimes in the water. Oh, they're so cute. I want to know how they make the, the honey slime. I think that's like super interesting how they're made. So I'm curious. Also, having this water pond, this like r river here, is super, super helpful. I think I am very grateful for it. And then, let's see. We could follow this up, but it kind of seems like there's more water over here. So maybe uh, let's try to go this way. Did I cut something? Okay, let's go this way. Making our way. Oh, I, okay. Me just accidentally putting it on the shoreline. We got our sugar water. We're getting closer. I honestly thought that traveling so far was going to take me way longer, but having all this water around is super, super helpful. Very grateful for that. I also am just kind of realizing now how much faster it is to break a boat with a sword. I don't know, I always just assumed because it's made of wood you should use the axe, but me just now, maybe, yeah, only comb cutters on here, so it's not even like it's an enchant, right? It's just, it's just how it is. Okay, we're getting places, we're going, <gasps> there's another, there's the other guy. Oh my gosh, yes, we're, we're close. This did not take me as long as it, I thought it would. Also, just, I love these lights. I can't wait to use them. <laughs> but once we get our B, we're definitely just going back home because I'm a little, uh, little nervous to keep up with this shenanigans. Oh, oh, you just straight fell into the pollen. Look at the dude, he's so cute. <laughs> they are literally the cutest things. Oh, I'm so happy we can ride them. What a fun little pet. Okay, literally, <laughs> I was trying to go there. I don't know if my bee followed me or how that works. I don't know if they're like super loyal. So they would like drop down as I drop down to the ground level. But I'm at least glad we're close. Okay. I'm just going up. Oh, don't want to fall. And up we go. Okay, literally, come on. I can do it. 
I can make it. Oh. Why? Why are you in here? Why? What are you doing here? Why are you a thing in here? This is not helping me. Stinky guy, why are you in here? You shouldn't be allowed. This is supposed to be a peaceful place, darn it. You're gonna make me use up all of my health bars. You stinky. Yeah, get stuck in the pollen. I do like, though, how these ones seem to have different particles, which is kind of cool. Okay, I think they're close. Let me see in the top right corner. I can see how much health they have left, so we'll see where they're at. Ooh, you fast swooping. Oh, there we go. And I got a membrane. Look at that. My first phantom kill. I do not appreciate that they're in here. Preventing me from getting to my place of death. Okay. What's kind of going to be interesting is I feel like I have to jump up here. Dude, I was so high up. I think I'm going to have to pillar a ton, which I'm glad I brought blocks because otherwise I would not have the necessary tools to make it through here. But I think I just like was way high up in the air and then just like fell on one of these side things. Yeah, look at there I am. There's my little self. <gasps> Scared me. I'm <laughs> just thinking I'm gonna fall, like have another death. Oh no, why are you hurting, buddy? Oh no. Wait, why are you- Oh, you guys were killing the spider and it- Oh, that's so sad. Okay, we'll put these in our offhand. And then we'll be ready to go up. Time to go up eat. Get our get our body back for the second time. Now that I like finally made it back again, I think I'm just gonna like Yeah, we're just gonna call it good. I have literally my pride and joy is that dude. And there's other quests that we can do. We can find a hanging garden later. A great place to find flowers of all kinds. I feel like we may have seen some of those. And I want to find the crystal flower, but I think we at least need to go home first and drop off our things. Because I don't want to deal with having our stuff keep um, getting stuck in the, the gravestone as we die. So we're going to just work on collecting our ourself. And getting our bee friend back. Oh, yeah, look at... Okay, they stay way up there. Nice. And over we go. Oh, literally... Oh, I would have just kept falling, though. Hit the ground too hard. Fair. Fair. That is... Yep, that is fair. That is what happened. Okay. Now... Don't fall again, bud. That would just be too sad if I fell all over again. Alright, I got myself. I found my person. We're good. So we'll start putting our armor on. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. I'm like, where is my other armor? <laughs> that is a scary thing to not see the other things. But it was just right there. Okay. I don't need all of these. And then we'll put the quiver on our side. Got the backpack back on, so that's good. And I'm gonna get rid of this shield. Now, I don't need all these extra bits, so I don't need this extra cobblestone. I'm honestly gonna get rid of this. All of this can go. And then grab all our tools. Those are most important. It's gonna get us back home and out of here. We'll grab our shield. We'll grab our torches and our bottles. We have to swap some of this out though. So we'll kind of remove the things I don't feel like I need. 
break grave. Okay. Don't want to do that quite yet. Now, let's leave chests. Oh, I can't put things in there. Okay. We're just trying to like, resort what we want. We'll add to the stake. That's always good. We'll add to the sticks. We'll leave this. We'll, we'll take the coal. I won't take any of these with me. I know I'm leaving some food and some building blocks and things, but I, uh, I'm okay with that at this point. We've got some of the big candles, which is kind of mainly what I was hoping to get out of it. We've got all of our armor back. We've got vein mining. Okay, I like how it changes colors once I've started, like, going through what my little self has. Oh no, wait. Where did my bee friend go? Oh no, did they do they go away too after time? That that's not that's not good. Alright. Breaking in 13 minutes, that's fine. Okay, you're still there. I thought that they like left. I was so sad if they were gonna just like be gone all of a sudden. I spent so much time getting back over here just to have them kind of like fly off. Forget we became friends. I feel like when we get back into the overworld, another build project we need to do in our area is making kind of like a little pen for our little bee friend that we can ride. And what's gonna be super cool is I can now take our little behemoth buddy and fly through the overworld. So I can travel and explore in our better Minecraft world way quicker because of our friend now, which is like, very exciting like i'm hyped for that man we really took a tumble how high up are we 174 yep that that yep the feather fall four can't even solve that hi buddy i sorry i left you i'm coming back okay Whew. talk about adventure Okay, we're going this way. And they're buzzing. And now I've got protection of the hive. So we have our empty bottles. Oh, the baby bee is so cute. I literally thought I was about to get attacked though, but I'm like, I'm supposed to be safe. <laughs> okay. So we've got all of our bottles back, so we're good. Whoa, wait, what are these boots? Hello? These look cool. Okay, let's see. Leather boots. Oh, feather fall too. <laughs> it's like it's telling me, like, do better. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, is there another one? Let's check this one. Ooh, another one of these guys. Nice, okay. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I think there's some big candles too. That's exciting. Red tulip, wild corn. <gasps> That's cool. I mean, I don't like need the wild corn. That's super cool. I'll take corn. I like that idea. Leather boots with feather fall too. Um, not exactly something that I feel I need, but these places are super cool. Okay, I've got lots of things as yours. Don't want those. So now, <gasps> are you for real? Are you? Oh my little. Okay, okay. The rootmen are cute. Literally, I was about to click on my bee. I think I'm over. I'm over them. I'm over the rootmen. Oh, oh my word. That little, little stink. Little stink bug. Little stink rootmen. Okay. I have no words. No words. Oh, this is just, this, this is just deja vu. Uh, <laughs> part of me is like, should I just bring you guys back in once I actually get there? But no, the adventure 
Today's adventure is the struggles of me being in the Bumble Zone for the very first time, learning about new mobs, and, uh, yeah, dying to Rootman. Literally, that little thing just hit me from the back and just yeeted me out of the little nest thing. That is... that is tragic. Um, we'll bring some apples for food. And then I'm just getting the XP to get the waypoint so so silly okay i'm making a boat as well the boat is actually helpful that helps me travel much much quicker but let's grab iron get the xp that we need and then we're leaving all over again okay literally <laughs> as soon as i get my b i am i'm leaving i know i said that but i, I mean it this time i really really means it And we'll leave those here. Okay, we've got XP points. Going back to our little spot. And then we're grabbing some iron so that we can make some tools. We'll make a pick, an axe, and a shovel, and then we're done. I feel like I'm at least getting like faster at this whole process though, right? At least I'm getting faster. Okay, we're, we're doing it. Stinky little root men. Cute little block dude. I want to know why they're aggroed on me. Are they just like annoyed that I'm like in their area? Like what is their motives? Little bee garden. Okay, up and out we go. We're still very far away. But it's okay. We'll make it through. Ever so slowly. I'll make it through. <sighs> I want to know why these guys get angry. Now I'm not as concerned like seeing them be angry because I know they're not going to be upset at me. They're just going for like spiders and different things, you know? Like on the map I can see they're going like they might be heading towards a cave spider. This was the trail that I made. Honestly, it could be nice to just make a path that doesn't get all pollened up all the time. Cause, oi, oi, no, hello, oh. Cause it would really be a, a very easy thing to just have a path to get around, but it's not like I'm necessarily gonna need to get back over here, you know? Like this is mostly just me getting back to my, my point of where I unalived and then we don't really need to be like in this area again. So it's not like I need to make pads everywhere. The ideal is me actually having like wings, like having an elytra would be the ideal because that way I'm able to just actually <laughs> fly around. You know, the wings can help me slowly fall. What I should have had is like a bucket. I didn't even have a bucket to attempt to catch myself because I have the sugar water. Like I should just keep the sugar water in my offhand, but I was kind of just afraid that the bees, well, that's much deeper in sections, but I was just concerned the bees, you know, would uh, come for me. Get them. Yeah, they got the spider. Good job, guys. Way to go. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again and grab our stuff. Uh, this, yep, this is, this is our life. It's, it's fine. I am very thankful for the waterways. Um, definitely helpful. So we just get to go and find our stuff again. I feel like I'm actually getting now to know this path. You know, like, I'm not even looking at the map in the top right corner. Like, I just kind of remember all of this. Obviously, like, I can see that the death message is over there, so it's easy for me to follow that. But this also is like familiar. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's so sad. I don't like how they like drop from the ceiling. Like from these little like pods. I feel like sometimes they get dropped too far under the water and then they just end up uh, unaliving and it's very, very sad. All right. <laughs> You know, I was gonna say third time's the charm, but this is the 
our fourth attempt at reaching a specific point because we first came in, then we died to the bees on our first attempt. Second attempt, we died... Actually, second attempt was dying to fall damage. So our third death was from the rootman. So this is the fourth time. Third death, but fourth time we've been in these areas. Oh, guys. No, I think I hit normal ground. I just realized I didn't bring pillaring blocks. That's the mistake. Um... All right, there's the bee again. Uh, ay, ay, ay. I could try to get an ender pearl, but at this point, you know, just everything is, I'm just not gonna try it. It does look, oh, I hit my, my pillar, so I do have to find a way to get up, but at least I can kind of grab my, um, I can grab my cobblestone from before. So that'll at least help me move a little bit quicker up when I pillar. Because otherwise I was going to have issues because I would need to uh, scoop up some of these blocks. Which, these porous honeycomb blocks, except uh, I, I would have to deal with a lot of probably angry bees and getting killed again. But so trying to, you know, avoid that. But I definitely fell on my platform that I made to ironically safely make sure I grabbed my, my items from the little gravestone. Oh, wait, what are you? Uh, oh, you're cute. Hang on, I want to see what you do. No. But you're pink. Uh, come back down, please. Oh, uh, man, I really am curious what these bees are. I know that the bees have jobs, which makes it really fascinating to me. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I should have grabbed a flower. I just want to know what you are. You're so cute. But I I don't know if maybe these are all just like, oh, yes. Neapolitan bee. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay. Well, at least I know at least a bee. I, there's a lot of other bee variants. Like you can see that this one looks slightly different from some of them, which is cool. Okay, now it's time to retrieve our body. Oh, see, there's a green one. I'm very curious what the green one does. Honestly, at this point, I should have just tried to drop down and like hit at the base of the pillar because I kind of have to just take apart the pillar as I go up. And uh, <laughs> our patient little rideable bee just chilling at the top. I wonder what they're thinking. They're like, man, this human. They just try to come in here, being all cool, like they got it all together. They really just don't have it all together. It's kind of funny. That's what I'm imagining. That's how I imagine. Okay, seriously? There we go. That's what I imagine them thinking. Just like, man, these humans. They're just silly. We're so close. You know, at least the cobblestone's here. Do we get some resource collecting as we do this, right? Welcome to the world, little bee. Oh, just hearing them all of a sudden. Up we go. What a fun time. All right. I'm being mindful of the rootmen so they don't yeet me off again. And then we are heading back home. We're going back home. Not having to deal with any more of the rootmen yeeting me off the edge. <laughs> uh, yeah. Honestly, at this point, it's just kind of comical. There's some experience points. Why did? <gasps> oh, 
What? It expired? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got so scared. That's my old one. This is my new one. Oh my gosh. I was so confused for a second. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was terrifying. Cool. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Flowers don't need in my inventory. Armor. Yes, please. Put that back on. Put the boots back on. Backpack. Quiver. We want the bow. We want the shield. We like these guys. Now, I don't need the petals. Don't need the apples. Don't need this. Don't need all of the, my iron tools. Don't need the extra boat. Okay, I think I got, like, everything back again. <sighs> nice. I got all my stuff. Yay. Ooh, okay. Now we go back to pillaring up because that's the, the stage we're at. We need to pillar up. Now this, that one I didn't really find anything useful in, but we're gonna make our way over to this spot. Okay, we're gonna look for the experience points in this group. Now, let's just get rid of the fence. Literally one XP point, but you know, uh, something better than nothing. All right, so now that we're here, it's time to use this to pillar up. Oh, I also have like tons in my inventory, so we'll just do this. Maybe we just do literally like this. I think it's gonna be quicker if I just do it this way. I'm just gonna hold shift because now I'm paranoid that the little rootman dirt block guy is just gonna yeet me off the edge <laughs> a second time. It is kind of funny though. I will say it is silly. I just was positioned at just the right spot at the beginning of it for me to get just, you know, just jumped off. Just, I have to be safer. Wow, I need you know, far to go. We get lots of block placing ASMR today. And me being annoyed or upset that we're dying on this adventure. But you know, at the same time, like, uh, it's part of the adventure, you know? Now, it's kind of like funny things that you, uh, you know, officially. Because you've seen me go through it. So you kind of now know that you need to watch out for the rootmen they be sneaky like that. Now I'm just gonna like make like a wall. Where is this little stinker? Oh, I slid on the honey block. What do you know? There you are, you little stinker. You are a stinker. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. Now we have Vein Miner, so I think we should be good. If I click on my bee. Alright, we're riding our little bee friend. Now I think. Hang on, I'm curious. Let's come down here a little bit. Ooh, well, I should not press the shift. Can you imagine if I would have jumped off again? Owie. <gasps> Wait, did he land? Oh my gosh, he landed. That's adorable. I'm... Okay, we're gonna go this way. I'm trying to, like... I want to land on the ground first and, like, feed my friend here. Okay, we'll land here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't accidentally, like, fall off our little dude because me hitting shift and hopping off our friend ended up causing me to fall to my death the first time. And I don't want that to happen again. So we're gonna eat our food first. <gasps> Wait. Ooh, what is this? Hello? All right, we're going there first, buddy. 
We're going there first. I said we would leave, but that was before we saw this cool thing. This is our last thing, okay? We will leave after this. I just really want to know what this is, because this has purpley things. Like, it's got some of these blocks, but this is like a floating little spot, which makes me think it could be one of the hanging gardens. Or floating gardens? I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna go investigate. Because why not? I just need to make sure I don't hit shift and fall again. That's the only thing I need to be mindful of. So we're just gonna go and land on this little structure. Which is just super cool. Literally, this is my favorite thing. I can't wait to have this guy in the overworld. It's gonna be so fun. Like, I can fly around with my bee buddy. <sighs> so, so cool. Okay. That's just pollen and a crystal. So, let's look at these. So, I don't even know what this is. But we'll try to land on it. Please don't leave me. <laughs> I got real scared there. I was like, are you gonna leave me? Oh, interesting, there's mining fatigue. Uh, but will I have mining fatigue if I pillar? Uh -huh. And I'm not on it anymore. Is this my big brain move? Oh, <gasps> it is my big brain move. Okay, so I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so stepping on it gives me the fatigue. Interesting. I want to open it up. We're just going to see if there's an inside to this. Whoa. Oh, luminescent. Okay, that checks out. <laughs> I'm going to say, like, this is bright, man. Okay, maybe... Maybe these just take a while. Oh, wait, is this my vein mining one? Okay, we're gonna try the vein mining thing. So I'm pressing my special key for it. I don't really think I'm gonna get too far with this if I'm being honest. Okay, we, we test again with this next layer. We're, we're just doing some testing. This is for science. Hmm. I'm not really seeing it do anything. I think it's just gonna like, you know, I'm not, I don't think it'll do much. So they're just kind of like floating little things, good to know. All right, well now we're gonna actually like go home. Like I don't feel like I need any additional blocks or pollen or anything. So we're just gonna get on our bee friend, chuck some pollen. And now we, uh, we, we go. We go forward, we go up. Also, our friend has a lot of hearts. Do you notice that? That's crazy. So I don't know what the roof ceiling height is. But we're gonna get a pyre, and then I want to try to get out and feed our friend closer to the top. Because I think if I mess with these blocks, the, the bees will still get upset at me. But if I kind of just stay here, I think I'm safe. And if I feed my friend, and you are taking a lot of these today. Goodness gracious, buddy. You took all of my little honeys. But that's okay. I still I still think you're wonderful. I just need to find more honey before we we go up. Okay, so now we're gonna go up. And then we're gonna use Vein Miner. I think this is the highest I can go. So Oh, okay, that is too high. We go we go a little bit lower. And then we use Vein Miner. And then we go up. Oh, 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 hello, hello. 
and these vein miner again. Vein miner again. And eventually the ceiling should just be yellow when we get there. So we're just slowly, I'm trying to like kind of serpentine circle my way up here. And then we use vein miner once again. I'm curious like how high up. So we're at 238. I feel like it's going to be at our usual build height, like 316. But we'll see if that's actually the case. I also think I'm high enough I'm high enough up where I'm not gonna get bothered by any of the bees now. I just wanted to make sure. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna have any issues closer to the surface. <gasps> Ooh, okay, this is the uh, the outside layer. So this is the beeswax layer. Now I do wanna bring some of this home. So I would love to be able to make some space for this. Okay, so we'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of you, we'll get rid of you. I, I don't need the feather fall. These leather books look, boots kind of look cool. Oh, they're dyed. That's why they look different. I was like, they look cool. We're keeping the corn. We'll get rid of the shovel. Now I think we should have enough inventory space to be able to grab a bunch of these. So this is the beeswax, which is cool to me. So we're basically at the roof from my understanding. We're getting close. So if I look at this, we've got beeswax. <gasps> okay. I'm, I'm happy that we're leaving. This is cool though, I'm excited. So like this is the beeswax and then I think we can do all of these carvable wax blocks, which is super cool. So we're gonna do some more vein mining. <gasps> Ooh, okay, this is it. So the the roof of the, the bee area is like 250 something. And then we're gonna be in the overworld. I'm curious where I'm gonna end up. Is it gonna be in my house? Whoa, look at that. That's cool. All right, up we go. Teleporting out of the bumble zone. Oh my gosh, look at you. <laughs> we made it home. We've got a bee friend. Oh my gosh, you are just in my face, aren't you? Look at this. We've got our bee friend. Oh my goodness. They can just hang out here. I love that so much. <gasps> Hi, buddy. You're adorable. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh my goodness, we made it. We made it back home. Let's put all of our blocks away. And now that we have levels here, I can also just keep all of our fancy fun things. So I feel like I want to keep our compasses inside this chest so we have these really two cool little honey compasses so we're definitely gonna leave those in there that's kind of like our exploratory box now we got a music disc so i'm curious to listen to this one the flight of the bumblebee it sounds very cute i'm very excited for it oh but it feels good to actually like know that i made it out <laughs> Because we were a bit stuck in there for a while. But we've got honeycomb. We've got leads we can put away. The We can keep our saddles in a special safe spot. Then we can kind of just take all these other things out. These candles are super cool. I'm very excited about the candles. I think they'll definitely be one of my favorite little things. Now... Let's see here. We'll kind of put our honey stuff in here. I feel like because it's very like candle based, to me it makes sense to put them in here. Now I'm curious what these little block, these little boots look like. I almost said blocks. I'm thinking all our honey blocks because they seem like they're yellow, right? So let's turn our armor back on. Oh, look at they are yellow. Oh my gosh, that makes them even cuter because it matches the bee theme. I love that so much. Okay, yes, we'll definitely have to put these on display as one of the things we've found in our journeys. We've got the sugar water bucket, all of those. We found glowberries, but I want to take these uh, 
these lar this little uh, phantom membrane and put that in there, but these large candles. Look how giant they are. That's so cool. You can't have like, you. they can only uh, be stacked as one, but literally so cool. And I do know for a fact that these candles, if they're brown, we can dye them, but I think we can scrub them. And there's also these potion candles where if we get a royal jelly bottle and uh, a night vision potion, we can kind of create different cool potion candles. Now this royal jelly bucket is something we also need to find. So that's an interesting thing to discover, how we uh, find the royal jelly block. So that's for a different adventure, but we can put our sugar water away. I'm not exactly sure what the sugar water can do, but we've got cool things on our ha on hands now. And I think the, the most fun thing is we have these little root men and the honey slime. So we've got these little dudes. Hello, buddy. And then we've got a honey slime. Look at you guys. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Literally, I love that so much. Okay, well, we need a name for the honey slime and we need a name. I have two of these little rootmans. So let me know what we should name our little rootman friends. I'm gonna keep them captured for now just to keep me safe and them safe, frankly. And same with our little honey slime. But I'm gonna put them here for now so that we keep them nice and safe. And I wanna listen to this music disc. But I have to remember where I put a, a jukebox. I think I put it downstairs. But this is like so much fun. I love that. Okay, so we've got a, a jukebox. And I think it's night outside. Also, look how big our bee is. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, let's sleep. We can sleep away the rain so it's a little bit quieter for us to enjoy some music now let's see here okay are we ready let's turn up our music jukeboxes go to 65 doesn't need to be anything too crazy are you ready so this is called the flight of the bumblebee oh starting out excited interesting it went very quiet. Uh, very chaotic. Chaotic energy. Um, okay. Oh, oh, it gets quieter and louder. Interesting. I'm, I'm gonna turn it off though. Um, it is a bit loud, I will say, but that is, it is still fun. I don't think that's my favorite sound disc, if I'm being real. Um, let's check out these other ones. We, okay, we've got this one called Life. Ooh, this one's kind of kind of cool, kind of like jazzy pop. I like it. It's kind of a vibe. It's, I feel like some of these are also just. I'm looking for some like. Oh, this was from the Bumble Zone. That's cool. I'm also looking for some things that are like more chill, you know? I think the, the other side is probably gonna be the most chill. And obviously Pigstep is just the coolest, but I'm I'm happy. I'm happy what we've gotten done so far. Now, the one thing I wanna do is I do want to go and get a little a little villager that is going to be our beekeeper, which means I do have to release one of our little friends. And I kind of am curious how our honey slime would get along with our copper golem. So let's take our honey slime. And for now, I'm just gonna name tag them just on the off chance that they accidentally um, do despawn in the overworld. So we're just going to name tag our little friend. Honestly, I feel like we'll call them B. No, that's what I should name. That's what I'm naming my um, my behemoth. So, okay, B for our behemoth. And then we're gonna get a different name tag because literally I just thought of that on the spot and I think it's adorable to name our rideable B, B like Bia kind of, but B. 
He's too cute. Okay. So honey slime. We'll call them sunny because they're yellow. I like it. Okay. Now we can name our friends. And then I can use this little uh, capture cell to instead capture the, the beekeeper. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. All right. Hi, I have a friend for you. Look at that. We've got Sunny. I think they're excited. Okay. I think they'll just hang out. I don't think anything's gonna happen. So I think we're good. Excuse me, B. All right, now we've got B. There we go, we've got B. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's, so, it's just so cute. B, my little rideable B. Now, the one thing I am curious to do is we have now a free portable mob thing. So if we go down, oh, I, I think you're stuck on the ladder. Yeah, you're stuck on the ladder. All right, we, we get you off the ladder. Okay, come, come. Come down here, all the way down. Are you really stuck on the ladder? <gasps> you're stuck on the ladder. Oh no. Okay, here's what we'll do. think you'll be free now? Yeah? Wait, really? Hello, buddy, come on. Buddy, why are you stuck? What are you stuck on? Are you still stuck on the ladder? I don't want to hurt you. Are you still stuck on the ladder? Ow. Okay, okay, we made it. We're good. We just had chaos, but it's fine. All right, we're, we're going places, we're trying. <laughs> I just have to direct you up and out. There we go. Okay, now we're good. We're good. You're free. No, don't go back, don't go back, don't go back. Don't go back. Stay. I have to fix my gazebo for you. Okay. Now, I think I can just put those back, like so. And then our ladders can just go back up here, and we should be fine. And everything's back to normal, which is great. And nothing is out of the ordinary. Everything looks like it's supposed to be there. Okay, this was the one piece. That's the only thing that had to get put back. Perfect, okay. Now I want to go for a ride on our little bee friend, so let's, let's go. We're going off on an adventure. Look at this! Oh my gosh! We're exploring above the... Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm obsessed. This is so cute! Look at us go! Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I feel like we've reached a whole new level of conquering better Minecraft. We have our rideable bee. We can explore endlessly now just by riding on our bee. <gasps> He's so cute. <laughs> Look at how adorable. Literally, I'm, I'm obsessed. That's literally the cutest thing. Look at me! I'm, oh my gosh! This is adorable! Oh, I can't. I'm, obs I'm, I'm obsessed. It's just the cutest. And then we can like go flying high up into the sky. And then like we can just see all of our area above us. Oh my word. This is so cool. Oh gosh, it took me so long. But we have come so far. I will just say. Look at us! We've got a little bee. I like love this so much. And we're like kind of friends with them. A, a thousand though, like that that's a long way to go, I will admit, but like look at this. Just the cutest thing. And I love how like they're just giant. Also, it's kind of funny how I like kind of just like 
shift into them as they move, but like, this is still so cool. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to build our friend their own little barn. And this is like such a fun way to get around our area. Oh my word. I love this so much. Now, I feel like we should kind of leave them over here by our bees. I feel like this just makes sense. So maybe we come over here and I'll hop off and we'll put a little, little thing right here. And then just for safe... Oh, thank you, buddy. But just for safekeeping, we can like put them over here. Friendship is at 92 if I give you more honey bottles. Ooh. There we go. All, all the little honey bottles. Okay. Now I don't need to ride you anymore, but that is pretty neat. So, okay, I think one of the things we need to do is get a honey bottle factory going, right? Because we need to feed our good friend B here. So that's one thing that we need to get done, which I'm obsessed. Our friendship. I'm obsessed. We have a friendship. It's adorable. I love that so much. Okay. Can I like throw these? Oh, I can. Okay. Didn't, I didn't think that that would be a thing with the duck eggs. I don't know why I thought that mechanic would be different. <laughs> I really don't know why I thought it would be different, but we're gonna go over and grab our beekeeper now. Cause I really think that having a beekeeper is gonna be just the best. Now, the thing I had thought at first was that we'll put a villager inside, I think it's over here, there they are. We'll put a villager inside the the bee area, but I don't think I wanna do that anymore. Hi, you. Um, oh, I need these flowers. I see, well, how about I just grab ya and just pick ya. Okay, look at that. Reuben, wait. Oh, I have multiple Reubens then, that's interesting. Okay, now I'm going to take this little box. There's bees in it though, so I need to be careful. So we're gonna take Silk Touch. And then we're grabbing them. And I do kind of like how they have this presented. So we'll just grab their setup, you know, make sure that they're fully comfortable in their little area that we're gonna make for them but it's not gonna be much uh, for a little bit. It'll definitely get better over time. But at least now, I love how you can just hear Sunny upstairs. That's just so fun to me. But I think I wanna have the beekeeper be watching over our animal barn. I think that that's pretty fitting, honestly. So, I got my sleeping bag. So we can put them there. Now we can put Ruben there. Hello, buddy. Hello. I'm gonna sleep. I don't know where you're headed, but uh, you can't go too far. Ruben? Um, Ruben? Okay, I should not have let you out. Where are you going, Ruben? Stay here. Okay. So uh, I need to grab the yellow flowers. So we're gonna go looking for those because apparently that's all this little little one wants. But my idea that I have is actually, we can see if we can alternate this. So let's bring them in our house where there's no other little things. Oh, can you please leave? Okay, we'll just bring a bee with us. It's fine. We'll bring one singular bee and maybe they can come out, because I have a flower. You want the flower? Yeah, I know you want the flower. Flower. Don't they normally come out if you're holding flowers? Is that a thing? I don't want there to be any bees in my house. That's my problem. But I guess we just got one bee. Oh, are you coming out? Yes. Yes. No? Okay. How about... Just placing him down again. Hello. How long do you stay inside your little box here? Hello? Can you come out? 
Can you go over there? There's other ones. You know what? Fine. We'll have a bee in the house. We'll have a bee in the house. We'll wait till it's night. We'll go in the box again. Once our friend is locked in. It's fine. It'll all work out. Okay. So, bee box. Sounds like I'm saying beat box, right? Oh, wait. That that was a mistake. That, okay. Ruben. 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 Where are you off to? Ruben. 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 I'm Ruben. Alright. <laughs> we put the slab down. <laughs> uh, silly. Okay. Alright. Hi. No, I don't know what you want. Or where you think you're going. But how about you just really get to liking this thing, yeah? I I don't want to give you dandelions because I use those for my pretty lanterns. But he might... Okay, we, we, have, a, we have a decent amount. We're, we're fine, actually. We're going to do this instead? Do we have a sunflower? <gasps> I think we have sunflowers outside and I'm just going to grab bone meal. That's going to be uh, our thing. We'll just grab lots of bone meal and give them all of the flowers that they want. But I'm pretty sure we have a sunflower outside. Okay, excuse me. I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm saying excuse me to you. This is my house, Ruben. Alright, I thought we had a sunflower. So let me just go sneak around this other side. Otherwise, I know... There we go. I was gonna say, I know where we can get sunflowers. <gasps> Look at that. We're getting all the sunflowers. Okay, this is much easier to trade. I'm glad I thought of the sunflowers and just bone mealing them. Because I was about to give away my yellow dandelions and that's how I make my favorite paper lanterns. That would just be a tragedy if that was the case. Alright, we, we got a lot of, of little flowers. Let's see how this does for us. Hello, buddy. Okay, what do you become? What's your next stage? <gasps> oh, oh, there's the beep. <laughs> Hi, bud. You finally came out. Oh, wait. I, can I get you to follow me? Yeah? Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, my gosh. Look at you. Okay, thank you for going outside my house. Now, please don't come back in. Hi, you. Oh my gosh, I- Oh my goodness, I can take the puffs and make money. <gasps> That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. I can make the honey residue. Interesting, okay. You are like directly correlated to the bumble zone and I love it. <gasps> Whoa, honey crystal shards. Why are you all the same? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay. Let's see about my puffs. Let's see if I got puffs for you. I'm pretty sure I do have plenty of puffs. Oh, I have 16 puffs, but I want to see this. If I like... <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, these are our carpets now. Oh my gosh. It just gives off subtle particles. Is this true or no? All right, we're just gonna stick some around here. Because then I just will get them in my area. <gasps> oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay, here's the other idea. Okay, we we mix in these little, little pollen guys with our fields of wheat. So it'll look like the wheat is doing it. Even cuter, right? <gasps> you sound so purdy. I go like so. And then I want a solid block here. Oops. Okay. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. I love that so much. Because then look. So then if I just change this to a regular block, then, look at that, 
The yellow particles are perfect in there. Obviously, like, we need we need this to be uh, replanted. But, like, yeah, you, you see the vision? I think it's perfect. We'll just put this back so that it regrows. And then we do the same thing with the puffs. Put a puff, like, right here. And then we'll have even more pretty pollen growing amongst. Oh, I love that idea. Like, look at this. That's so fun. I love that. Pollen. So pretty. Wait, where did I put the pollen? Oh, I put it over there. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love that. That's so, so cute. We'll put another one right here. I don't have too many left, but I do like me a good particle. And honestly, let's just like stick one in here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Ugh, I love it. So exciting. Yeah, that adds so much. I love it. Yellow and pink particles. What do you think, little bud? Do you think that's pretty cool? I think it's beautiful. I love it. Ugh, so fun. Such a simple thing, too. Now, my portable mobs thing, I can put this back. And we can save this for bringing another rideable bee. Because I just think it would be fun, even if I'm only going to ride one at a time, to still be able to have them. Now, let's take our friend here. Oh, I can't give them anymore. Okay. Um, shards for emeralds. Or the, the pollen, you guys. Hmm. You drive a hard bargain. Oh, that's much lower. I'm not using my dandelions for that. No, thank you. Um, would you please reset? Yeah, I know it's a lot to ask. There's a block right there for you, specifically. Just so you, just so you know. I'm also curious, like, what is this supposed to be? It gives us weakness! Or slowness, excuse me. Not a fan of that. Interesting, though. Very interesting. I don't have a lot of shards, so we're not gonna play that game, but we do have this beehive wax. I'm curious if this makes anything. Oh. Interesting. I don't think we can do anything with it, honestly, but that's okay. It still is cute. We, I feel like I'm using all of these blocks inside a really cool build for the beekeeper is going to be really cool. And then we can have an attachment where our little buddy hangs out. Our little bee. Okay, should we go with bee? Spelled B-E-A? Or should we call her Bia? Let me know which one you think would work. Because I think, honestly, they both fit really well. Uh, but we're going to go and scoop up a bunch. Actually, let's just grab some more sunflowers gonna say we could go scoop up a bunch of the bee pollen and then i wanna my goal is to level up our little uh, beekeeper friend all the way just to see what they can give us because i think that just sounds so cool to see as part of our bee adventure everything where did you go i just heard you did i like oh i totally went past you excuse me buddy did you reset yet no, you didn't. Okay, that's okay. But yeah, I think it'll just be really cool to see uh, what happens. Now we've got corn, which is pretty neat. We've got seeds. We'll put those back. We've got the wheat. Okay, now... I think you're gonna get slowed, dude. Alright, we're gonna just take a snooze here. We got the sticky situation. That's fun. Alright, we're gonna go to the bumble zone. And I'm just gonna scoop up a bunch. Oh, we have fortune as well. Oh, we're gonna scoop up. And give our little friend some good old, old pollen. The bee garden. And then we make our way up and out.
Oh, yeah. We've got plenty. Man, it's so weird being in here after we've been out of the area for a bit. I will say. Oh, interesting. It's a gravity block. Do you notice that? So, the pollen is a gravity block like sand is. Good to know. Also, holy moly, we already filled that up. So now let's put the, all of that there. All right, well, we are set. This is our gonna, this is our trade with our dude. This works wonderfully. We'll just, um, hi, bud. How's it going? Don't mind me, just picking up a bunch of, bunch of stuff. Okay, we're gonna go back now. I think we got all of the pollen we can possibly carry and this will be our trade. Now, I do... Okay. Let's see, my home. And then we're back. We can trade lots of pollen to our little friend. I love that there's a beekeeper when we also have the uh, the bumble zone dimension. I just think that's so... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Come here. Okay, <laughs> what are you gonna give us? You're leveling up. <gasps> oh, they give the honey crystals. That's so good. Oh my word. Okay, oh, um... Don't. I, I want the emeralds. I wanna keep the emeralds. Thank you very much. Okay, and now what are you? Are you master? <gasps> okay, they're master. Oh my gosh, they can give us... <gasps> they can give us the honey buckets. That's so good because I think the honey buckets allow us... Let's see here. Information. Uh, if I use this on bees, it will fully heal them. If I use it on an adult bee, it puts it and nearby bees into a love mode. If used on a child bee, it has the chance of growing them into an adult. Interesting. Okay. That's curious. Okay. So I think with this, some of these foods, we can use the bee bread. So I can use some of the pollen and honey buckets and make bee bread, which is kind of cool. So then we also have the queen bee, which if we trade with the queen bee, they, it looks like, ah, I don't really know if I like this. It seems like we give her this. There's a 12% chance that we get this or is that vice versa? If anyone has ever played with the the Bumble Zone mod and played with the Queen Bee things, I would be very curious to learn about that. I also know we can get different, um, like, little armor pieces, which is super cool. Like, all of these... Oh, hang on. I want to just click on the armor and have it show us more about it. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's just telling us these are tradable things. Kind of cool. Little toes, carpenter bee boots. Interesting. All right, well, we'll have to figure out the queen bee mechanic and trades once we actually find the queen bee. I think that'll be very fun to figure out. Uh, Sentry Watcher. Oh, that does not sound like a good time. That sounds very, very scary. But, um, interesting. I'm just glad that we get these, um, brood blocks. I think they're really cool. But then, see, what's really cool is this gives us unlimited honey crystals, which we then can turn into crystal shards. So, right now, if I buy one crystal shard and I use my fortune pick, right? This is unlimited for us. Um, I need... I have too much pollen. Too much pollen. Now if I put this down, which I think this will work, and then use this. So, actually, this isn't maybe the best loop. Unless I do multiples. Let's try, let's see if I can do multiples. Oh, 
they're just the same thing. Okay, so if I grab one, I don't have any in my inventory. So that time I got four. So then it makes it a good trade-off. So if I do another single, now we have six. So it does give us more, which means then we can just take these shards and give us more emeralds, right? So it's kind of a good loop. So the beekeeper is actually really, really nice. So I love that. So I think what I wanna do next is they need a place to snooze. And I think what I'm planning to do is I'm going to kind of keep them inside the animal barn itself with fence gates. I do want to give them a bed. So we're going to take some shears and we're going to give them a nice little, uh, nice little place. Because they're clearly trying to sleep in our bed and just not be where I want them to be. So what we're going to do is I'm going to move all this pollen into my inventory, move it downstairs. And then I think what we should do is we should actually bring with us a barrel. Or, yeah, we have some barrels over there. So I'll actually leave the pollen in my inventory here. And then we're going to grab a little mob capture. Ruben, I'm sorry, you need to come with me again. Come here. Oh, oh, come on. Hello. Ruben, thank you. All right, and then we're going to take Silk Touch as our pickaxe, pick up their little job, and then I want to shear the sheep. So I think I got rid of all of my shears, so we're just gonna make a new set of shears. And then I want yellow dye for the bed. So we'll take two of them. So we've got yellow dye, we'll have our carpet. We've got wood blocks. We got it all. Don't need that anymore. All right. Because then Reuben can be our designated beekeeper and take care of our animals. And what I do want to do is just make sure that they actually have like a, a safe place to, to sleep. Um, that is my one concern. All right, sheepies, I need some wool. That's two and two, thank you very much. Now we're gonna dye it yellow. And then Ruben will have a nice little yellow bed to match the bees and the honey. Just like that. And then I'm gonna just bury it into the ground here. Um, like so. And then if I put their job block, oh, I don't want to put it, it needs to be in the middle. So maybe we do it this way. So let's pick up the bed. Let's have job block be there. We can uh, fill that in. I don't even know where the blocks went. I had uh, dirt blocks, didn't I? That was strange. Huh, okay. I had some dirt, but I guess we'll just grab some more. If you saw what happened to the dirt right there, I was pretty sure I dug it up and it stayed, but it doesn't seem like it did. It just kind of disappeared. Strange. Okay, so let's do this where they're not able to jump out, right? And then we put the bed like right in here. Why is it just like disappearing? I don't understand that. All right, and then Ruben is right here. And now they should kind of like attach to one of the... Okay, maybe they're just a little too like stuck on one of these. Oh, I got a buttercup. Are you guys making flowers? Thank you very much. Look, Ruben. 
We've got a cute little buttercup. That's actually adorable, not gonna lie. Like, buttercups are so small and so cute. All right, um, Ruben, is that where you're trying to go? Where are you trying to go, Ruben? What are you, uh, what are you looking for? What are you trying to get to? I'm not exactly sure what you want. I have a bed for you, though. You want to sleep over here? I don't know what you're looking for, buddy. i sorry. Are you seeing other ones? Oh, there we go. Okay, at least you can sleep. Guess I take a nap with you, huh? I'm trying to see what block Ruben is connected to. Because I want him to reset. Will you reset? Maybe you won't. You're still pretty cool, though. I do have to say, you're still pretty cool. Yes, I mean it. I mean it. Okay, well, we've done an adventure into the the Bumble Zone, and I have to say, I think that was super fun. Now, we uh, we have talked about building something, because usually in these long plays, we always build something, but today I wanted to just go on an adventure, and we did that, and I think we did some pretty cool things. I was able to get some of these checked out. We crafted our crystal honey shield and we got the pollen puffs. And I think we have some good goals to continue adventuring in this world, but let me know if you think that would be something you'd enjoy doing. I think one good thing about these capture cells is now I can just take Bia, I can grab Bia and we can just, you know, go and explore and i can just bring her back into our area just fine so i think that's really cool sorry duck but we've got our little friend bia which is great we've got a beekeeper watching over our animal barn now which feels really nice to just have a villager in here and that they're just so involved with like all the bees and especially we can have them be the caretaker of bia but I think this is a great little adventure. I, I hope you enjoyed more of a just exploratory adventure long play and joining me for my very first attempt at exploring the Bumble Zone. And I think our next up, our next video, I really want to make Bia a home. And I think we need to also have an addition where our friend Ruben, who takes care of the bees and Bia, will have a home. And I think that sounds wonderful. But I, I love this so much. I think it's pretty great that we can take Bia for a ride. Literally, this is just the coolest thing. Like getting to just fly into the air, I, I love it so much. But thank you guys so much for joining me for an exploratory long play in the Bumble Zone. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Me and Bia are gonna go for a little, a little ride. So I hope you enjoy your day as we enjoy our adventures.